tee hee. Isn't that? It fun? might. It might be recording it, so just be careful. I. I I'm always not sure on that. What Technical so, difficulty. Okay, we're live now. Then. Cool. So this whole time that I thought I had us at the the pre-stream screen, we were not at the pre-stream. That screen. is correct. Yeah, it was waiting the entire time. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're live now. I just <laughs> I, I, I just checked it. Uh, oh yeah, huzzah! We're finally live. Hi guys. The we prophecy. Are, we <laughs> okay. are live We now. have this huzzah. cool uh, pre-stream screen that you'll see next time. <laughs> Show it. You can show them now. Why not? What do you want me to put it? You want me to put it back there? Just for does it time? mute us if you go there? I mean, I'll, so just... to do it, I'll put. I, I guess if I put you back there, the music's gonna play. So what I'll do is I'll put it back there for a few seconds. And Flash the viewers. Us. Flash. Just the guy went to the bathroom. So nice. Hit him with it. Okay, Fuck, hit him with on. it. Everyone, hit him we're with gonna be thing. muted for a second so you can see the the starting soon screen we had. <laughs> no, we don't want to go. Don't send us back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you see? That's what we have. I love, how, I love how, like, I'm so unused to YouTube's layout of things, and you can't just start through Streamlabs. You have to also press start through uh, YouTube's thing, so that that's why that happened. Hello! Interesting. Hi! Yes, hello, everyone. Oh, introductions in order. Uh, we can certainly at least go down the line of all the players and things like that. So, uh, uh, at least going from the lovely little image we have up at the top, we'll uh, we'll start from there, and uh, I'll, I'll go last just as a as a courtesy on things. So, go starting to my first. left, you're the DM. <laughs> oh no, 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 I I I would prefer to you know what? Fine, very well. The best for last, oh. exactly. Uh, so, hello everyone, and welcome to Digi Destiny our lovely little uh, tabletop game we're putting together for uh, fun reasons, but also because, by God, have we been planning this for way too long. <laughs> so, I, I am your lovely game master for the evening, Nick A, the VA. I have done at least uh, a decent amount of stuff for uh, schmucks and things like that. Uh, voice work here and there, and plenty of experience on all of the tabletop forums on things. So, I believe our players are going to be in for a good time. Starting to my left here, we have... That would be you, Red. Oh, that's me! Hi, <laughs> I'm RedBeast13. I'm a video editor for Schmuck Squad. I edit a Kamega Killer Bridge. I edit Digimon Hana Bridge. And I also edit uh, the blooper reels that you have recently been seeing pop up on the Grimjack channel. Yes. Like yes, those are a lot of fun to do. And I also uh, tag in every now and then for VFX on other projects. Uh, so I get my hands dirty in a bit of everything. Yeah, Next and uh, <laughs> do, do I... <laughs> Yeah. You, uh, hey, whenever you're done, you can be like, "Yeah, tap out next place." Well, are we are we yeah. introducing our characters, or are we just yeah. introducing ourselves? No, just yourselves. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, <laughs> I'm super excited. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I super uh, excited. I'm dad. Shut up. Right, Jump off the cliff. Go ahead, pass the mic down to my twin brother. Hi, I'm Storm Sage Thirteen. I do a bit of writing for Schmucks, primarily in Digimon Bridge and Some Piece. I, uh. I also do voices too, I forgot I do voices oh, sometimes. Oh, yeah. I voice Joe in Digimon Bridge. Oh! The best. Yeah, hi! I, I, I'm Joe! But I'm not playing Joe today, I'm playing someone else. Is he as confident as Joe? We will see. Probably not. 
Dragon breath. As confident as the pinnacle of charisma, Joe? <laughs> as confident as Digimon's greatest punching bag. Probably not. <laughs> Incredible. What a good time. Oh, yeah. Uh, next up is is me. Hello, I'm Coffin Jockey, also known as Chase, also known as Koofjoof sometimes. Uh, I write for like almost every series on the channel. I uh, uh, fucking voice a lot of characters on the channel. I think I'm over 30 characters on uh, Schmucks. And I'm all, also uh, your lovable narrator on Digimon Abridged. And I'm also Gabumon and all of his Digivolutions. It's a good time. It's a good time. I, I like being here. Thanks for thanks for being here. We're that gonna make cool. a list. We're gonna make that official. Who, I do have a very it? long list of all of my characters, but I don't. <laughs> I can't get it all in one breath. You're unfortunately very versatile. How dare you be so talented? I want. I want the top three. I want, I want the top three. <laughs> uh, Spencer might be up there, dude. He might be number two or number. He could even be number one. You never know. Fun fact, That's Coffin fair. can actually unhinge his jaw and manifest a marble. It's a fun That's party true. Trick. I've seen it. So is that st like top three that like I've voiced in our channel? Oh no, no like... all the people, all the people okay. voiced in cool. schmuck stuff. Yeah, I just... <laughs> count mean. the number of people on like a hand for mine. Um, fair. It's gonna be a while because we have, we have to include background characters that are list kept listed and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up now so we can keep going. Yeah. yeah. Next up, we got Pyro. I hello. Uh, I am Pyro MG. Normally, I'd just be like, but I'm me. But I'll, I'll in short, uh, some piece, uh, write that with lovable twin boy Storm here. Uh, voice Luffy. Digimon stuff. Uh, voice Matt. Uh, originally wrote on that, but handed that like when th they work as a better unit. <laughs> there, there is such a thing as too many cooks in the kitchen there. Uh, I just do QA stuff a lot of time on that now. Uh, when it comes to this Digimon thing, uh, was lobbying for this to happen for a while and then built the entire layout of all this here. So if you guys see anything uh, to complain about or anything wrong with it, of course, you know, file all complaints with Joe. Mm -hmm. hey. Naturally. <laughs> also, feel free to let us know, like, input, I'm joke, joking aside, input necessary. If our audio is too low or anything like that, let us know early and we'll uh, adjust things before we get into the actual game. And then I'll hand it over to Grim. Hi, I'm Grim. Known as Grim Jack. Also go by Jack. Wow! I I I do stuff here, you know. Uh, for you know, I for Digimon I voice uh, Agumon, and uh, Agumon's twin evil brother, <laughs> who is not. I'm sorry, I probably spoiled that. I'm Damn sorry, it, dude! That was show. like season three I, stuff. I wrote the whole show. Holy Fuck. shit! <laughs> That's <laughs> famous now, guys. We yeah, told you not to talk about that. Next, you're gonna tell about Dog with a Blogumon. Oh God! <laughs> Don't you dare! Hey, that one's on NDA. You're fucked. You're in suit. <laughs> Chase, I'll I see quit. you in my office. Oh God! <laughs> as, soon, going to court. as soon as you give me an office, uh, <laughs> I I you know I I also write for a good amount of our, our projects. Probably anything Chase is writing, I'm I'm there with them. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I don't do Digimon though. Sad face. Um, well, but uh, yeah. Did you so, as a guest writer uh, one of these days? Oh, uh, you guys have a lot in your room. Sorry. <laughs> I just be like, hi. That one, two jokes. That's it. So <laughs> that'll be the best jokes in the episode. Uh, I also write for uh, you know, Schmucks, Goblin Slayer, Abridged. Uh, any any show you can think of. Uh, I'm usually involved one way or another. Oh, uh, and I've always liked Bond and Goblin Slayer and. Soma and you know like Aguma like I said earlier. So yeah, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm so happy. I don't do a lot of DED stuff, even though I work on a D and D related series <laughs> with, with Coffin here. So uh, yeah, please like I want this one to last. I I do. I, I want to see characters, these characters grow. I'm gonna be scared with my character growing arc because usually a lot of D and D of our streams and when my character is having a big growth. So, <laughs> oh, 
Oh. I will tell you this now. If any <laughs> one of you tries to hit me with the, hey, Nick, I don't think I'm going to make it this session. Uh, I own a pair of manacles. Oh, boy. <laughs> you will be forced. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Soma? Oh, uh, our Shokugeki no Soma parody. Uh, our Food Mint parody. True. Or not Food Mint parody, is Food Mint. Food Wars parody. Aha, uh -huh. got myself. So, uh, but yeah. So, Nick, well, I know you're kind of like running yeah. the flow of this, but definitely before we get into the, the main game, I want to go over for everybody the inspiration rules and stuff like that. You are free to do so, seeing as how you have written the description that is currently scrolling down on the very bottom, but by all means, give it a whirl. Yeet! Okay, so, um, in short, uh, cause Grim hit a great segue of like, we want this one to last, we're, we're trying to do some fun stuff here, we're gonna keep this rolling and whatnot. Uh, there are ways you can actually get involved into this one specific should you choose to. Um, we do inspiration points for these. Um, we are going to do it as it will be tallied in the breakpoints, aka this right here, the beginning. Uh, or in the middle break, or at the end of stream, those things, and they'll carry over to the next one. We're not going to be doing, like, live, we stop the the stream to freaking, like, hey, oh, well, someone donated and whatnot like that. We feel like that would break your immersion. It would also break our immersion, and you guys came to experience a story. So, um, well, if going. you guys do feel like you want to... Uh, do, 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 like do, live, do, do, we stop do, do, do. the. You're able to donate uh, at the link in the description. Uh, it's the one that goes to the main Smucks thing. They will pop up on screen so you guys can read. Have fun notes to each other if you want to, but also make sure you indicate who you're inspirationing at, be it the D DM or uh, a specific player or whatever's going on there. Any ones that are not given a specific in that way, when we tally them up, we'll just frickin' roulette it for whoever gets it. Whoa! Already! $5 worth. Uh, as a forever DM, I must give some power to yours. Oh, God. Already it's already starting. the DM an adversity token. Oh, God! And $30 already. Oh, right God. There. So I'll have a separate screen where I'll be able to tally those up uh, as you guys are going at it. Awesome. $30 means right there. That's six inspiration tokens right out the gate there. Oh, Basically, God. the rules are as follows. Every $5 worth of donation grants and oh my God, $30 again. Uh, <laughs> what, what are you guys no. doing? You guys, don't stop coming. Uh, guys, don't stop coming. Uh, Thank uh, you, Jiminy, <laughs> but come on. <laughs> just, just a quick, just a quick thing for you guys. We haven't started game yet, so <laughs> I don't know what you're excited about. <laughs> also, yeah, other the enthusiasm. Five. The only I thing it, I gotta I'm say, glad, but holy crap! <laughs> I, I know that I know that everyone's very excited. Uh, if you don't list a player, it goes to the DM automatically. Yeah, so, I know. Like, that, that's, that's why I'm boring. excited. <laughs> Guys, we're, we're gonna die. <laughs> All right, so we're, we'll tally these up uh, at the at the half. I'm not gonna use them now. So okay, save you're, these you're for later. Be nice. I, we'll, we'll I, I will be nice for the intro. Um, yes. Okay, so, so anyway, I'm gonna get into these rules very quickly. Every five dollars worth of donation grants one adversity token to the dm or player of your choice if more than one person donates to a token the last donor is the one that chooses example if someone put three dollars in and then the next person put what tipped it over into being a full five dollars then that last person's vote is what's going on. Another 30. God damn it. This <laughs> <laughs> makes the rules. So uh, here, wait, here's isn't the, there a here's limit the, of adversity? Four players see, there, there are. Is, see, here's oh. the thing is uh, I'm going to put that limit on myself here as well is uh 15's the cap, guys. So that includes here's, for players here's and what DM. I would say. So after that point. It should be 15 <laughs> per character per DM. <laughs> 
per DM. If you have one particular, <laughs> yeah, you, you got it like 800 characters. You can't I, make I, just one guy really strong. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, hey, as a DM, I can apply them to whomever, so it works. If Bunch there's a fan Leo favorite character, I... there's a if there's a fan favorite NPC, and people are like, I want this NPC to have some adversity tokens, then that's yeah. that's entirely up to you. Uh, Guys, they, we, we could save Leomon. <laughs> oh my god, this Leo Mon's gonna be unstoppable, y'all. I can see people <laughs> donating to a freaking character hoping they're gonna get into a fight without knowing. <laughs> I mean, they're also yeah. donating to a character that potentially doesn't exist in the game yet, but you know, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. If so... there is a Leo Mon in this game, I hope it survives. Also, Leo the Mon last... and Digimon have a terrible uh, tracker. I, the I last $30 more one. Deny. <laughs> Uh, just, just to be clear, the last thirty-dollar one was one in one adversity to each of us. Oh, cool. oh to all players. Yeah, so, I yeah. have Again. I have up on a screen here the their messages and all of that. So when we do go into by the DM's discretion the tally, then we can actually break it down. But yeah, please Perfect. guys, make sure you indicate who it's for. Otherwise, uh, well, I mean, it will be fun either way. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll raffle them off at the very end if nobody gets it. But uh, we're going. I always enjoy when this when the deck is stacked against us, oh, so it's I don't so mind. Fun. <laughs> to be fair, <clears throat> this game is very stacked against me as well, and our viewers will learn that very very shortly. But uh, you should mention that this isn't five E that we're running by different. It is system. not five E, by the way. So if anyone uh, is curious as to what we're running, uh, we'll explain that later, because uh, I believe we have a game to get to. Yes. So, That's players, funny. are you ready? Nope. But let's do Perfect. it anyway. Exactly. Alrighty then. Shall I bring so. this over to our live Here we go! Oh, we go oh, oh. <laughs> Goodbye, chat. We're going over to the live. Goodbye, chat. We love you. Bye! We'll see you on the next break. We'll see you on the next break. Bye! Remember us! Here we go. You. Our story begins. In a dark tower. Its walls are a combination of metal and stone. And walking towards the center of this tower, we see a cloaked figure. They make their way towards the back end of the wall, and there they raise their hand up, and a light springs forth from the wall. From there, it's realized that it is a command console. A keyboard displays itself, and there is a monitor shown before them. They begin typing frantically. They have to backspace a good number of times because they misstep a number of keys. They're in a rush. They are panicked. As they are typing, they hear pounding from the back end of the room. A large thunking noise. They take a deep breath, look over at the console and see what they've typed in. I have to hope this is enough. And with that, they hit the enter key. The message begins to send. There's a progress bar, about 70%. It's going pretty fast at this point. It reaches 99% and the console shuts down. The doors to the tower fling open. And a silhouette stands in the doorway. You have so much to answer for, Admin. They turn and look up into the reaching above of the tower. Maybe. But I have friends on the way. We turn to a quaint little city. 
placed in the center of the good old states. It's a quaint little place by the name of Earl Vista. It's got a nice little set of mom and pop shops, a few startup tech companies here and there, a few office buildings, a high school that's very proud of its uh, advances that it has for how quaint the town is in comparison. And it's here that we can begin to see the few individuals that are about to change the lives of a great deal of individuals, both human and digital both. We start with a young man currently skateboarding his way to school. It's pretty early in the morning and he's excited. After all, he just got his most recent cast off. So, Red, if you'd like to introduce your character and what it is that you're doing this morning. All right. Fuck, uh, that was cool! I was not talking the whole time, but that was cool! It was <laughs> so cool! Oh I was my like God. restraining, just to be like, oh, like every couple of fucking seconds. I'm sorry, I got continue. Chills. That was cool. I got fucking chills. <laughs> Let's go! So, Red, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Uh, Eric Ryder, or as he is colloquially known around the town, ER, because he's always freaking at the ER for breaking something, is a reckless kid who's always looking for a thrill. He loves riding his skateboard, and first thing off, like having his cast off, he immediately thinks, Oh, sick, I can start skateboarding again, and immediately just gets back on. Uh, you say, I'm on my way to school? Is that right? Currently, yes. You are. Right. Your house isn't far from the, the actual high school grounds proper, so having a nice little, uh, nice little board to school is not uncommon for you. It's nice to be able to get a, a decent breeze, even with the chill. And uh, you figure, hey, by the time you actually uh, get to school, classes will be getting close to starting. Excellent. So I suppose I would take my favorite routes, probably through the park, and do a few rail grinds, and probably think, like, I wonder if I could kickflip while grinding. All right. Would you like to attempt to? Hell yes. Cast just came off. Time to do something stupid. All right. Uh, I would say go ahead and give me a... We'll call it a flight roll. I'm going to set the difficulty to, let's say, four. You've, you've skateboarded before. It's not hard. All right, let's do this. Go ahead and give me a flight roll. And be sure to uh, add your modifiers in post. Right. Uh, it's I click flight, and I'm getting a prompt asking for input value. Uh, you can just click the accept button, and it'll work. All right. So your dice Ooh. exploded. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, sure enough, you're like, yeah, I've got my confidence back. I'm not going to shy away from things just because I broke my arm again. You go ahead and you see that gr that grind rail. You're like, easy peasy. You go ahead, jump up into the air, do a kickflip before landing on the rail with your board, sliding down and landing just fine, gaining a little bit more speed. I, I let out a big scream of excitement as I land the, as I land the, land the trick. <laughs> You're excited. It's a nice day, and it's finally about time that, uh, you know, we got the cast off. Moving on. We see someone that is already in the school building and has been for at least the last hour. He's currently typing away in the computer lab that is quite hefty. It's got monitors that are... Less like the old uh, 90s Mac style and more like monitors you would see almost on a gaming computer. Storm, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Oh boy. So, Jason McKnight, also referred to as the wizard because he's very good with computers, though in reality he just knows how to open a PNG. It was everyone else does not seem to understand how torrents work. A little bit of a 
computer whiz. He likes to fix computers, who's uh, surf the internet, look up information, all that good stuff. Cover kind of lovable dork. Like, the only thing remarkable about him really is his intelligence and his love of learning. But, uh, yeah, he just loves to like, get in early. He is the kid that gets picked on because of how much of a dork he is. <laughs> but, like, so yeah. Uh, what, so what is Grayson up to in the computer lab at the moment? Uh, it is just, pretty early. Probably just, like, researching ways to up Upgrade his laptop, just uh, working on torrenting some uh, old shows, just so he can have them on his computer. All right, fair enough. I would say go ahead and give me a uh, go ahead and give me a brain. Let's say, uh, let's say you're trying to torrent something. I'd say DC ten. Torrenting uh, a school computer. Oh no! Alrighty, so even with your modifier, that's at a nine. So. Uh, Doesn't work. The you go ahead wall. and you are trying to go ahead and pull up torrent. You've done so before on a couple of times. However, when you try to pull it up this time, there's a blackout on the screen. Oh no! You look up and you see one of the teachers has pulled the cord to the monitor and is looking down at you. Where did that website come from? I've never seen that before in my life. Grayson, we've talked about this. The computer lab is for use during regular school hours. Is there a bandwidth in home? <sighs> you see the teacher goes ahead and kind of like pinches at the bridge of his nose. Come on, up and out. Okay. Don't you have actual classes to be going to in the next 15 minutes or so? Yeah, but it's PE. I, c I can just not do that, right? That's optional, right? He goes ahead and he gives you a slight push out the door and kind of closes uh, uh, it behind Okay, you. okay, okay! Okay. You can go ahead and take one adversity token for the not success. Do you think? Next up. Also at this school, but currently just making his way towards the back end. We see a young man that is carrying a pretty hefty backpack with... Uh, Good number of clinking metals in there. He's tired and a little worn from the, I guess you could say overtime he put in uh, with class. Pyro, if you'd like to introduce yourself, please. Ugh. Okay. My... I feel like I'm I'm announcing a school project. My character is Ryan Riot Scarlet. Uh, he begrudgingly got the nickname Riot because uh, let's just say he's been a troubled youth. Uh, he's gotten to some fights, some of them not very proud of some things he might have started himself. Uh, he's trying to get into a better place. He's on medication now. You're but, currently making your way around the back end of the school and uh, to where the chain link fence is that leads to uh, the shop class of school. You can see the most recent project you've been working on, a relatively beaten up and stripped Ford Focus. It is kind of just laying around in parts. You recall the scathing uh, bit of a lecture you got from the shop teacher before yesterday when you had lost one particular screw that would have held the chassis back in place and you still don't know where it is. So what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. There was no lead in there to what I was. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm saying you're making your way to the school. You see the remnants of the project you tried working on that is now kind of a mess as you're making your way in. Well, 
in my bag, I've probably got some spare screws here. It's not going to look as pretty, but it'll be functional. Alrighty. Uh, go ahead and, uh, and say if you're looking for something that might work equivalently. Uh, yeah, we'll call this a... Uh, we'll call this a brains check. DC of 10. Okay. Let's see. Was the kickflip a DC of 2? DC was four because he's skateboarded before. Okay. So this is a fair bit higher. He's trying to find a specific part that he may or may not have in his backpack. A little tough. Congrats on the highest DC we've set so far. All right. And how do I trigger this again? It's been a minute. All right. So on your character sheet, there should be an area where all your uh, stats are. You would just click on the word and it'll give you a pop up for like modifiers. Just click accept. Okay. Submit. All right. Go ahead and take your adversity token. I You're looking through for a bunch of different screws in your backpack, hoping to find something, and you find a very long screw. Uh, however, it, when you placed into the chassis proper, wiggles all over the place. It doesn't actually fit and settle itself in very well. You're sure it's around here somewhere, but it is not on your person. All right, well, let's take a look around. Sure enough, you make your way into the shop proper. Next up, we see a young man still laying in bed, tired, beaten from a long day of work the day prior, but just pulling himself out of bed to get started for the next day because he has people to take care of Grim if you'd like to introduce yourself <clears throat> uh, my name is Reiner Reiner Takeshi um, I've uh, worked last night uh, at a stall <laughs> outside on a street just serving like ramen and soup and stuff yes I don't get a lot of sales, but I do it because the people close to me and my family enjoyed cooking so much that I want to move forward and stuff. And through it all, uh, I've really want to just not think about certain things, especially since losing someone close to me. So as you wake up in your bed, body tired from the late night of working, uh, you can see that there's a notification on your phone. Uh, it is a text message from your landlord that says rent is due in a few days. The apartment that you're in, while it holds you and your family decently enough, uh, it's, it's not pristine living to say the least. And you're hoping that you can get some decent sales today, hopefully, to... Uh, hopefully mitigate any future woes, or at the very least to break even with rent. Yeah. I, I work side jobs at different um, restaurants and stuff to live by on top, on top of me trying to start my own business in hopes of maybe securing a restaurant. As you make your way into the kitchen, kind of just scratching at the back of your head, getting ready for the day, you can see that there is a note uh, from your sister uh, that she did try to wake you up earlier but you just wouldn't move so she went off to school on her own and hopes you have a very good day and there's a little heart emoji at the bottom brings a smile into me since knowing she's still trying her best to be happy with what little we have Fair enough. You begin getting yourself dressed for the day. Finally, we turn to a man that is just walking outside of his house. 
staring at his 1996 Chevy G20 green van that is almost an eyesore compared to the other vehicles in the driveway. Chase, if you'd like to introduce yourself, please. Uh, I'm playing Gary Pasternak. Uh, he is a pretty average dude. Uh, he doesn't have too many crazy identifying features on him. He just looks like a background character for the most part. Um, it's like 5'8"-ish, uh, average build, average in a lot of ways. Uh, and, uh... In a, he, I assume he's coming out of a fairly large house with a bunch of fairly nice cars in the driveway. Absolutely. Uh, Most of the models that are in the driveway are current year or within the last uh, within the last two years. But they're all pretty pristine and very cleanly washed. Though I would say out of all the vehicles here, yours is probably the shiniest, if only from meticulous cleaning yourself. That is fair. It takes a lot to keep this thing alive. <laughs> this baby's on death's door every day. <laughs> I'm fighting the Grim Reaper to keep it all, keep it running. Exactly. Uh, you get a notification on your phone. It's from your boss, uh, and it says, "Gary, don't forget the lattes this time." <sighs> he never gives me the company card. So what are you doing? <clears throat> You're still just outside your house. Car is just sitting there. <laughs> rifle through my wallet to see how much money I have and if I can pay for lattes myself. Uh, sure enough. Uh, Cash-wise, you've got maybe like a 20 in your billfold, which would cover at least enough for the boss, but you know it's not just the boss getting coffee. Yeah. You look down at the uh, silver card that is uh, in your wallet. You kind of cringe at it because that is uh, a emergency card. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get yelled at if I don't use it. I, I have no other choice. God help me. <laughs> I'm gonna get into the van and do the eight attempts to start it that it takes to actually ignite. And, sure uh, uh, you know what? Give me a, uh, give me a grit check. We'll say DC is, yeah, we'll say DC is like six. Oh boy. All right. Is well, there a hope roll? I have, I, due to my, my traits, I get a plus one bonus to grit checks. So yeah, it's so whatever you plus roll, one. it'll be plus one of that. Yes. Five. Sure enough. It takes you a good 10 minutes of sitting in the car just trying to get this thing started. Take your adversity token for not success. Mm-hmm. What is wrong after, with you, guys? After 10 <laughs> minutes of trying to get this car started, you kind of, a little frustrated, go out to look under the, uh, under the hood to see what's wrong. And... There's nothing there. It's all relatively in fine shape. You kind of kick it out of frustration, and with the key still in ignition, the car starts, but gives a very big sputter as uh, smoke kind of juts its way out of the engine and puffs you in the face. <coughs> okay, I gotta go. Uh, all right, I'm already late. I gotta go. Come on, baby, hold while we're on the street. Fair enough, you pull out of your driveway and you begin making your way to... Uh, one of the few coffee shops you know in town that hopefully will uh, <laughs> put a little slack on your end of things. Mm -hmm. Get out, get on in, and get try to get them lattes. Exactly. ER. Yo. You make it to the gates of the school. It's a nice day. You can see that there are a lot of people that are slowly making their way to class. A lot of people very tired because why do we have to wake up this early in the morning to make it here? Yeah. There's a few people that kind of give you a few waves that uh, kind of flag you down to be like, hey, you finally got the cast off. And uh, before making their way off into class proper. Yeah. 
It's at this point that you get a notification on your phone. A latte? And... <laughs> that notification, it is not from a number you recognize. If anything, it's not really a number. It's from a web address. And you can see that there's not really a message associated with it, but rather there is an attachment, like a uh, like an image that you could click on or a a link, if you will. I would not say that. Eeyore has the best senses when it comes to online protection. <laughs> yeah, weighing suspicious activities. So it just goes, oh, someone sent me an image. Okay, I'll open it. You open it? Sure. Oh, enough, you can see, uh, you open it, and you can see that there is a, uh, a looped gif playing of a of an egg that is gray with sort of purplish spots on it. And as you kind of look at it being like, what the heck is this little, a bright light shines from your phone and engulfs you. Oh man, I got invited to the dark web. Grayson. Yeah. As you're making your way back to class, uh, you notice a notification from your headset. What, what the hell? It is from a, it's an email, but it is from a user that you do not recognize. What do you do? Grayson knows better than to click on strange links. But he's curious, too. Are you like, just going to open it, or are you going to try and, like... Dissect it? How? What are you going about with this? I'm... I probably want to say he just deletes it, but then I don't want to be out of the game. <laughs> no, that's fine. So, you delete it, and another image from the same sender comes in. After the third time of trying, he's just like, okay, fine, what is this? Sure enough, you go ahead and you click on the link, and you see there is an egg. It is sort of uh, a lighter uh, I would say cream color with green spots and the egg kind of just bounces up and down in a little gif Aww. and then a light shines from your goggles my eyes riot Hello. You're sorting through a variety of different uh, parts over at the shop right now, just trying to find anything that'll hopefully get you out of this jam. When your phone goes off. Okay, I check my phone. Sure enough, there is a message from a, it's an email message from a, site and username that you can't recognize. It seems like kind of random gibberish at first, but you can tell that there is an attachment with it. I am not looking to fund a Nigerian prince today. Delete. You delete it. Your phone goes off again. Louder this time. I will look. It's from the same user. What the frick? I got Norton on this, right? All right, fudge it. I clicked the link. Sure enough, you click the link and it shows a GIF of a bouncing egg. It is red in color with what appears to be brown spots that kind of bounce up and down. And as you go to put your phone down to go back to the shop, a light kind of slowly begins to emanate out of it before blinding you. 
What the hell? And it envelops you. Reiner. I was thought I wrote something funny, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you're getting dressed to start the day. Sorry. You get a notification on your phone. Uh. You can see that it is from a a web address. But what's weird is that it's not coming through like a mail app. It's coming like from a text message app. What the heck? Is this one of my old friends from high school playing a trick on me? God. Whatever. Click it. Do you open it? Yeah, I'll open it. Fair enough. You click on the link and you see a bouncing egg. It is purple in design with black spots kind of bouncing up and down. And as you're kind of looking at it, just like, what is this little... A bright light shines out of your phone, kind of blinding you. Before you disappear. Oh, thank God. I didn't know if I disappeared. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> yeah, I need an ice, half calf, ristretto, venti, four pump, sugar free cinnamon, dolce, soy skinny latte. I need a caramel macchiato, venti skim. Fuck, the list is torn. Um. <laughs> As you're waiting uh, in your car, trying to rev the gas to keep the engine from dying on you again, <laughs> uh, you get a notification on your phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, damn, I didn't even make it to get the coffee. Damn. No, you're there waiting for the coffees. Oh, so I've paid for them, and they haven't shown up yet. They have not shown up yet. You're oh, kind thank of sitting goodness. waiting for them. <laughs> thank goodness I've lost all this money <laughs> before I get abducted into the digital world. <laughs> Uh huh. You don't know that. I mean, I. I mean, you, Gary doesn't know the that. Pokemon <laughs> World. Come on. Yep. You get a notification on your phone. Uh, it's probably the boss yelling at me. Pull it out and check it. Sure enough, there is a. There are two messages. One from your boss that says, "Gary, where are you?" Uh huh. And, and another from a user you don't recognize. I reply to my boss, and I'm going to say, yeah, the coffee place is packed today. Uh, <laughs> even if it's not. Um, uh, I'll be there in five minutes. And then I check the other notification. Sure enough, you can see that there is a, uh, there's a link that is attached to that other uh, message. And as you're kind of looking at it, being like, what the heck is this? You can see another notification from your boss saying, don't give me that bullshit, Gary. I know that this town is small. Get the coffee and make your way here. Just like say out loud, like, what the hell do they want? Like me to get, get a note from the coffee shop saying, oh, yeah, sorry, you ordered 53 lattes and it takes a second to get them. Cool. All yeah, let me hires. just get a note from my barista. The hell? And I like, click the link. <laughs> Sure enough, <laughs> you click on the link and there is a bouncing egg there that is uh, sort of a lighter brown color with blue spots. And as you're kind of looking at your phone, like, what the heck is this little thing? Uh, the high beams on your van start shining out and all of your alarms in your car start going off, like, <laughs> and it is a chaos for you. Oh, I, um, if I'm not already in the car, I'm running to it. <laughs> you're, you're in the car waiting for them. Cool, so perfect. I, I wasn't sure if I was in the drive through or not. Yeah, I like trying to turn my brights off. I'm like trying to take the keys out of the ignition. I'm like trying to stop it by any yeah. means necessary. You take the keys out of your ignition, the car is still going wild. And as you look to your phone, that's kind of sitting, uh, like as you've tossed it off into the the passenger side seat, uh, it starts shining a bright light and it combined with the light from your van engulfs you. Uh. A lot of you find that you are not 
where you previously left yourselves. You can see that after the light fades, this is not town. This is not the school. This is not my apartment. This is not my car. Instead, what you find are incredibly tall trees surrounding you. Are we on, like, free actions? Is it someone's turn? Are we all together? You are all not together, no, but you do see that you are just surrounded by these incredibly tall trees before you. So, I just want to point out that I was skateboarding while looking at my phone while this all happens, so I 100% skateboard straight into a tree. Fair enough. Uh, what the <laughs> heck? Oh! I was skydiving before. ER, <laughs> as you were go you go from solid ground that is concrete to uh, rough patchy dirt mixed with grass and roots that catch the wheels of your skateboard and you go flying off. Uh, uh, who, who planted who planted a garden here? I would like you, ER, to roll me a we'll say a brawn check, DC of 7. Not a problem. Fair enough. You, you brush it off. It's no big deal. You've had worse falls before. Wait, are you the only one who succeeded so far? Yes. <laughs> As you're kind of rub rubbing at the uh, <laughs> the slight ouchies from falling down, uh, everyone yeah, else, you all do hear, uh, coming from various directions, uh, the sound of a young man going, Ow! It kind of <laughs> echoes out. Oh, Grayson gosh. hears another person, and he's like, fantastic. If it's one thing I hate more than P.E., it's nature, and I go to find another person. Fair enough. Uh, Gary. Yep. When you look around to be like, why am I suddenly here in this very dense forest? As you're looking around, you notice it's not just you that's here, but also your van. Oh my... Ah, uh, am I still in my van? You are still in your van, yes. I'd like to stay in my van. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Is it going to go I'm... anywhere? The I'm... alarms at this point have ceased, but the lights are still flashing, <laughs> even with the key turned out. Well, just like bad. here, fucking distantly, just like, <laughs> like <laughs> smacks into a tree from out on the other side of the win window, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try my car. car. I'm just gonna try my car and see if it turns on to attempt to gain some control of the situation. You fool! Sure. Don't make noises. <laughs> sure, Gary. Uh, go ahead and roll oh. me. Go ahead and roll me a grit check. We'll say the DC is. What's a what's a respectable DC for this? Boy. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say the DC is thirteen. Oh god. Exploding Which dice! Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh. Alright, hold on. Oh and my god, that... it exploded twice! It did explode twice! <laughs> it exploded twice! So sure enough. <laughs> sure enough, Gary, you to try and get some level of control in the situation. Grab onto the driving, grab, grab onto the steering wheel, clutch the key in the ignition, and go, please, just once. And you turn the key, and it's like the first time this thing had ever started up. It is clean, and it breathes to life. <sighs> and everyone else hears the sound of an engine starting. Hey, <laughs> hi. Well, I recognize the sound of that engine. You'd recognize that it is the sound of a car starting. <laughs> okay, because I definitely I recognize the sound of that engine. I, I actually Ryan, don't Ryan's... know if you do, because it worked. Uh, <laughs> but that said, right, you do hear the sound of a clean engine starting. I I'm, I'm still just like, what the hell's going on? Is this some sort of VR experience? <laughs> sure. All right. Uh... I'd say give me a uh, 
You know what? Sure. Give me... Rainer, give me a grit check. We'll say... DC of 10. Oh, boy. Am I great? Oh, okay. Let's, we'll find out. Wait, what the... Can I just say, this is the first time I've ever heard of Truck Coon getting isekai <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with you! Uh, so yeah, yeah when you click to... on the word grit, then you can click accept for the no modifiers. Oh, it's, okay. It's, okay. I just have a question after uh, things, things resolved. Oh no! Fair enough. Uh, take your adversity token for one. Uh, for two, uh, clearly this isn't real. Clearly you're still dreaming. Did I not wake up? Oh god damn You must it. be real tired if you are having this vivid of a dream. Fuck! <laughs> oh god, how do I wake up? Oh, I'm gonna be late. Oh. But you do hear the sound of a uh, of an engine still running. And uh, Gary, you're in the car. I'm, I'm gonna. Gary just slowly brings his forehead down to rest on the top of the steering wheel, and stares <laughs> into the, into the distance at nothing on the inside of his car. Uh, that's completely fair, Grayson. You were saying something. Sorry. Uh, I was wondering if I could like find some place like sort of a tree to lean up against, take out my laptop, and see if I can find Wi-Fi. Uh, you know what? Sure. Uh, you go ahead and you pull out your laptop out of your backpack, and I'd say give me a, give me a brains check. It's DC of, we'll say, seven. Exploding dice! Oh, wow, succeed. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, you open it up, and there's no Wi-Fi button to click on, at the very least, but when you go to pull up, like, a browser, it works. You go to oh. try a quick, simple Google search, and it works. Can I ping Google, and that still works? Uh, when you try to message anyone, like via, like a help desk or something like that, uh, an error message pops up. Huh. Like so, if oh. I try to pull up my command prompt and I just eight point eight point eight point eight, that that doesn't give me anything, but I can still browse. You are certainly still able to browse the internet. When you pull up the uh, the command menu, it looks different. It doesn't seem very consistent I, to how you have seen previous ones before. There are options I, that previously were not here, and you're not sure how to interpret them. Did my computer? Did Windows want an update? Is this Windows 11? What the fuck? I didn't ask for an update, What I hear it here. But the Wi-Fi does work. <laughs> I'm so okay. confused. So, um, I, considering Recap just popped into a world unfamiliar with, heard a, a car noise, and that's the one thing he has any knowledge or control over, uh, I would go fucking running towards whatever it is. Even more so, if I remember right, we said it so like he has a jack handle was the thing that was gonna come with him. So that That's was correct. Still in his hand. So run yep. to attack the car, perceiving it's oh. a threat. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough, you have the jack handle in your arms kind of raised almost like as a as a makeshift bat or sword. And you run into a small clearing. And you see a very recognizable van and someone sitting in the driver's seat with his head pressed against the steering wheel. I lose the intent to attack. I walk up to the side of the car and knock on his rolled up window. Gary, as you're sitting there trying to contemplate life and go, thank God, I finally have some level of control, you get a tap, tap, tap on your window right next to you. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Gary uh, attempts to roll away from that window to the other seat while still seat belted in. <laughs> sure enough, uh, you go ahead and you try your best to like roll over. Uh, the seat belt catches immediately and pulls you back into a seated position. 
I have it feels like a vice grip as the van itself is almost trying to keep you from moving. I very, very slowly turn towards the sound. You look to your left, and immediately there, you see a familiar looking kid. I turn off the radio. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, you would have heard if you were uh, able to hear through the window track five of the best of Metallica, Metallica's greatest hits. One, about three quarters of the way through. And, uh, Slightly Gary, muffled, like, but, right, you would be Yeah, slightly muffled. <laughs> uh, Gary slowly narrows his eyes. Ryan? The window's still rolled up. <laughs> You do hear it muffled slightly from the other side, right? <laughs> I start pointing down, mimic, like, to mime, you want to roll down the window? I begin using the hand, <laughs> the, the hand crank to roll the window down uh, as best as it will work. <laughs> sure enough, yeah, it, it rolls down with ease. Luckily, this is the one part of the car that isn't usually busted. The window's like new, baby. <laughs> I roll it down like an inch. <laughs> and I like lean, like, n like angle my head upward towards the opening. What's happening? Yeah. I was kind of going to ask the same thing. Like, do you happen to know where the rest of the jack is that this handle came from? Also, where are we? If I get out of the van, are you going to accost me with the jack handle? I've rolled the window up slightly. <laughs> <laughs> I have no intentions of hurting you currently. It rolls up the rest, the rest of the way. <laughs> <laughs> it locks the door. <laughs> So while this is like, going on, uh, ER, what are you doing? Um, did I hear the sound of a car? You do hear the sound of a car running right now. Oh, dope. People. Uh, so I mentioned I would head over in that direction because I don't think he's... As far as ER is aware, this just seems like a weird place. I don't think he's... Uh, because this, I don't think he, he understands with a full grasp of what's happened yet. Long time. So he's, he's not that, like, concerned yet? That's fine. You start making your way towards where all the noise is. Uh, Reiner? Yeah. Say what? Reiner. Reiner. Reiner, sorry. Um, I run up to the car. Or uh, the bus. Do I get there? All, all this commotion's happening? Yeah, sure. You're coming up just as uh, just as ER is, because Grayson's still browsing the web at the moment. Uh, sure enough, you can see that the car is running. There's a man who's currently clicked the lock button on his car. You can see there's a, a, a taller ma uh, young man kind of holding the equivalent of a tire iron in his hands uh, <laughs> as you enter into the clearing where this car is. And that's where you would see each other as you're both entering. Okay. So, I'm really angry <laughs> that I'm still sleeping. Right. So, I'm gonna scream, uh... Hey! What's going on? Why am I still asleep? Soup dude! What the hell? Hey, man, I'm... how's it going? What the hell you're doing here? Shouldn't you be in school or something? Uh, was well, on my wait. way. Oh, I just uh, Yeah, I'm just... I don't know, I got an email or a text or something, and then I ran straight into a wall, I think. I don't know. This dream is weird. <laughs> dream? It, 
Oh, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't consider that. Maybe I got knocked out? It doesn't matter. You're, you're just an illusion. I just want to wake up. Oh, okay. I slap him. All right. You know what? Uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll me. All right. You know what? Fair enough. Uh, ER, roll me a fight roll. And <laughs> to guess you go ahead and roll me a, we'll say a brawn check. These will be opposed rolls. <laughs> Make sure to add your modifiers and let me know. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, I got that's plus on a, brain. That's on a D12. <laughs> that was, um, so that just, was yeah, very so, unfortunate. <laughs> so yeah, just the just the brawn check for uh Jack, I, I have nothing else. To be there. fair, you're not that's trying fine. to slap the shit out of him. <laughs> fair enough. Uh so sure enough, ER, you go ahead and you give him a nice little slap. Reiner's face doesn't move <laughs> when you hit him. And Damn, dude! Reiner, you feel the uh the sting a little bit. And there wasn't a lot of force behind it. But your cheek does still sting <laughs> as he pulls his hand away. Dude, wanna, that was cool. I want to comedically punch him without hurting him. Because okay. I'm, does that I want to uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to, like, you know, like comedically you punch somebody and they're like flying in the air. I don't, I don't want to hurt him. I just want to feel like. Basically I want to be like, know your place. Like, <laughs> no, that's fine. So sure cool. enough, you go ahead and you take the hit, and you're just like, okay, and you give him a nice little, <laughs> quick, uh, like thrusting punch back, knocks him back like a, a step. <laughs> New cast. Yeah, rubs, yeah, rubs at his arm that just recently healed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still Sorry. asleep. I mean, did that hurt? I mean, kind of, but... I mean, then you're awake. No. I mean, it has to be harder. You, you can't feel pain in your dreams, right? That's how that works? I, I, I don't know. You know the figment of ma imagination, I, you know, all that shit. I don't really fucking care. I just want to wake up. Just just hit me again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just so hit him again. So as this slap match is going, <laughs> I, I, I like to imagine like every time I hit you, you still get annoyed and kind of like put, punch me back. Sorry, habit. <laughs> no man, habit. It's, it's, cool. a, it's a what reflex. What are you guys <laughs> doing over there? Huh? Yep. So right, you turn and you see uh, Reiner and Er kind of having a slap match with each other. It, it's the equivalent of like uh, those slap fight competitions where like they try to slap each other the hardest and knock the other one out. It is really sad to see because ER's really not putting any effort in and to get she in response is kind of reflexively just punching him. It's like And then ER is forgetting like, that every time he does it he gets hit. <laughs> He's just doing it. It's your friend. Ow! It's, it's, it's like weak slap and then it gets hit in the uh, punch in the arm and he just like ah just like grabs it. <laughs> it's like Ben Stiller uh, and the monkey from Night at the uh, Museum. Exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> That's our but, gimmick. <laughs> so as they are having a nice little slap fight, Grayson, you make your way into the uh, into the clearing, where you, there's definitely a little bit more commotion than just the car. So as you I see uh, two two men slapping each other and punching uh, a guy that's a little outraged, holding a a piece of metal, and a man who is currently cowering in his car. <laughs> So I see two people fighting, and one guy seemingly accosting a man in his car. Well, he's turned now to the men who are fighting each other. I slowly crouch into the bushes. Alrighty. Uh, Terrified of the scene. I'd say just give me a flat, uh, a flat flight roll. I want to fail this so bad. J just, I'm not going to set a DC to this. I just want to see how stealthy you're trying to be. Oh, okay. Uh, Not bad. I mean, yeah, there's enough tree cover and they are distracted enough to not have seen you. Oh, boy. I wanted to be so loud that we stop and notice. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> I don't know. Just keep hitting me. I don't care. Let me get out of here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Man, why does he ask me to keep hitting? Oh, God, he hit me back. <laughs> uh, Gary, the car is still running. <laughs> I try to drive away. <laughs> sure enough, you begin to try and drive and... 
Uh, as you start slowly rolling across the bumpy ground, which is not doing anything for your shocks right now. <laughs> I put my thumb out for, like, Hitchhiker. You certainly can. Uh, you'd have to break out of your hiding position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do that because right now I want security in, in four walls. Uh, Gary, as you're trying to drive away, you see in your rearview mirror a kid <laughs> that is making his way towards your car with, like, the hitchhiker's thumb out. <laughs> What is going on here? There'd Looking be in your other rearview mirror, you see the other three individuals that are two having a slap fight and one that's just holding <laughs> holding a jack hitch. This place is wrong, and I am in danger. Um, yeah, how, car. he's not going to get far. <laughs> how far, you know, do I am, how far away is, uh, is, is uh the wizard uh quote Reese. from you maybe a good 50 feet but just slowly gaining because you're not driving fast <laughs> okay um so I'd, I'd probably recognize him from there that i imagine yeah you could you could i'll i'll stop and i'll unlock the passenger door all right hi i don't know if you know me uh grayson mcknight's uh what going on yeah thanks for the thanks by the way this place is weird I... why do i have you in my notes as reese what oh uh that? That, that was my character's name originally before we had I'm like three people it. we have like <laughs> three <Rhino. R's. laughs> yeah i'm changing <laughs> it okay i've changed it in my notes hooray anyway um are you the guy that hacked my dad's speech I have no idea who could have possibly done that, but they're probably very smart and handsome. Damn it. This place is full of the most awful people to ever exist. Hey! I'm trapped with them. I, I, I'm, I'm not that bad, am I? You want me to hit you with my skateboard? Because that might be better. Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> ER. You're better than whatever is going on out there. And I feel like I need some form of companionship or my psyche is going to split in half. So I'm going to lock all the doors and we're going to root through whatever random crap is still in the back of this van. And we're going to try to build some sort of shelter and we're going to try to weather this out. Okay. Yeah. And can me and ER get to the door too? Like we gave we're up. We're like... built society. <laughs> so as they're having this discussion, you want to stop your slap fight and make your yeah, way. Yeah. It's like, it's not working. Oh, hey, that car door is open. Maybe we'll go in enough. there. I so, assume you shut it behind you. Yeah. I did not. <laughs> so, yeah. I so, assumed you did. Get the fuck, get cars in. in park. My hands on the door. That's, oh, that's no, not it's been not. Closed. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's no, like, it's not. We'll it's roll like, for it. <laughs> so, uh, all right. I I need some elaboration. What are people doing right now? Well, I'm jumping going, in the back. Grim has oh, flash stepped into my car. <laughs> you guys are talking for like a good like several minutes. Okay. I thought Happy he got shit. in the car when you <laughs> up. No, they he didn't get seen. into the car. He opened the door and was like, "Hey, how's it going?" And sat yeah. in the a passenger seat. Yeah, I would have um, immediately had him get in and close the right. door. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Should have well, said that. <laughs> so the car still in park. So guys, car <laughs> still in park as you guys make your way over there. Uh. Grayson, as you sit down, there's something that you sit on. That you didn't see previously. I jump up and turn around to look. You look down and... Gary, you kind of look and be like, what the heck's going on? You realize that where he sat on was where your phone was. Mm -hmm. And you look down to see where your phone is. That's not your phone sitting there instead in its place you can see what looks to be kind of like a small rectangular device with a few buttons on it and a small little screen it's even got a keychain oh what? is that tamagotchi or something i don't i don't know i thought here i'm gonna grab it pick it up and look at it sure enough uh you take a look at it and uh as soon as you do, the screen kind of lights up, and you can see that there is a notification 
on the uh, on the front, like as in a uh, a notice, if you will. Is this thing a pager? What is this? I'm going to try to pull out my phone just to see if I can like, Google anything about who I think that might be. Like, I've never seen a tech like that, I assume. Sure enough, you pull out your phone, or where your phone was, and you pull out a similar device but in different color. Ah, oh, shit, I just upgraded. Mom's going to kill me. But Check sure enough, you also have a notification as well. <laughs> Oh, at least the screen's not cracked. Yep, I'm gonna check on that notification. While all this is going on, I'm just casually walking to catch up to the side of the fucking... The van has stopped at this point, so... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, everyone else is there. Uh, l clicking on the notification, you can see that there is a text message of sorts, but <clears throat> you cannot make heads or tails of it because all of the characters keep changing. You can tell oh. where there are, like, breaks, where words and sentences would be, but everything keeps changing and, like, almost cycling through the alpha numeric system. It's going through letters and numbers at such a fast pace, it's not locking into anything. You broke my thingamajig with your butt when you sat on it. I'm sorry. Uh, Grayson, when you take a look and check your notification, it is the same thing. Same message, same scrolling text that you cannot make heads or tails of. Am I able to touch and check with the screen or do I need to use the buttons? Uh, You would use the buttons to navigate and it's pretty easy to sort of start figuring out just from looking through it of like where a <laughs> select button would be, an enter button would be, and a back button. Gross, this isn't touch screen? Low tech. I feel like by this point, they definitely would have made it to the car. Yeah, oh, they're, yeah. def they're, they're outside the car right now, kind of looking at you guys as you're having this conversation. Is that my oh. brother's friend? Who? I, I think my older brother hangs out with that guy in the driver's seat. You're older? Gary? Why the hell are you guys all here in my dream? You think this what? is a dream? <laughs> what the hell? You're here too? If it's a dream, that's a very lucid one. Also, please leave me alone. I'm very squishy. This is all muffled, by the way, because the windows are still rolled up. Close the door. Oh man, I didn't know. I didn't know Grayson and Gary knew each other. Wait. Oh wait, Grace. Wait, 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 wait. You mean the wizard? Yeah. Okay, now okay. It's, it's just been. Holy shit! That guy used to give me games. What the fuck? Give me free games. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a dream. I need to get out of here, please. I, I got work. In the noodle guy. I don't. The what? Want to be the one to break this to anyone? But judging by who's here, and you think you're a soy? I just fucking got here out of freaking nowhere. I punched you a long time ago. What are you doing here? That kind of leads to my theory. We might be oh. in hell. The only thing I don't know is what the fuck this bus is. So that means it's the only way out oh, of here. Th I am absolutely certain we're in hell because of this thing. I am 90% certain this car blew up and took him with it. Look, there's no way we can be hell. I'm here. As you're kind of arguing over, is this sure. hell or not, uh, there is a <laughs> bit of rustling uh, coming from one of the nearby branches of the tree. Pull up my gun. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have one? No, I hold up my skateboard in defense. Calm Spending down, two me. adversity tokens, I take the prepared power and pull out my gun. <laughs> I hide behind <laughs> Gary. Yes, your water anyway. gun. Absolutely. So, <laughs> the only uh, guns I need are my fists. Welcome to I'm going to delete shit. my phone from my backpack. Up at the top of the tree, hanging down and kind of looking over this whole conversation, you see what can only be described as the oddest monkey you have ever seen in your life. Kind of just hanging for the branches above. Looking down at you all. And as it sort of sweeps over, 
Riot, this monkey locks eyes with you. I'm gonna take a ready stance with my jack handle. <laughs> so, Flamemon, you found him. You figured they you. would land somewhere around here. Well, they found you. Hi. God, this is a dream. There's no way you that can, thing could talk. You can talk. Yeah. yeah I mean, oh my God, you can lean talk. On the whole dream th theory, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm. We'll just. I'm walk pretty right certain here. this thing's like a fire demon. I'm. I'm still with but, the we're in hell theory. What's a hell? Of course you wouldn't know what hell is. You're a demon. It's not like you've been outside. Well, hell is spending uh, like six months in a cast when you can't do kickflips. It's really annoying. Really frustrating. I, I'm not a. I'm not some sort of demon. I'm Flame Mon. Oh, thanks for clearing that up, man. Appreciate it. The last it. part of your name is Mon. Demon. And the first part of my name is Flame, not D. I mean, valid point. <laughs> He's got us now. He's, he's yeah, got us now. I, I, thank you, random guy. That is a speaking sentient fire monkey. Whatever okay, drugs I've been laced with, I want to get off this wild ride. Okay. Well, I, why do you know that thing? What, what does it seem to know you? I don't know why it knows me, but the only way any of this is going to make sense if we is if we ask it what it thinks it is. Okay. Let's just run with the hallucination this day is. Who oh. are you? Oh my god, you guys, like, really don't know the script, do ya? I'm a Digimon. Oh, a Digimon, I get it. Okay, cool. I kind of lean into I know. Yo, man, you know what a Digimon is? No, just keep slapping me. I want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, it's like as hard as I can. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Actually, put it next this time. Yeah. Grayson. I would like you to roll me a brains check. DC is 15. <laughs> oh, wow, I got Holy shit. <laughs> Let's go! You remember a long while ago, at least a good year and a half or so, uh, hearing about an incident that had happened years before you were born. And that there is a rumor going around on the internet that the apps that we use or the different functions that are around on the web that kind of keep things running, that they aren't just bits and lines of text, that it seems impossible for them to just run without some sort of consciousness and consistently run without a consciousness. So... Someone suggested that maybe there is something more to it. And the term Digimon was thrown out once and immediately dismissed. This thing claims to be one. What the hell? Actually, I, I think a while back I heard of this thing, heard of Digimon back on my research, but no one actually takes them seriously. Okay, I've heard of Bigfoot, but if someone came up to me claiming they were Bigfoot, it doesn't mean I'm going to take it at face value. What's, well, if a person comes up and says I'm Bigfoot and has a flaming tail and looks like that, I, I, I might take them at their word. That doesn't look like Bigfoot. I would not. I would take them to say that they were something else than that, but I see your point. <laughs> okay, but what if their name was Flaming Tail Monkey Man? And then I mean, that's not my name, though, bro. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's fine, man. I don't. I, I, I'm not really seeing how hard this is to grasp. Okay, so you clearly know this place in your own way better than we do, at least. Yeah. So, Digimon, are you the only one? Are you like Heck an no. urban legend? No, there's plenty of us. Plenty of us. Flame Mon, the you know the others are nearby and we're searching. And uh, you could probably hail them down if you wanted, or go to try and find them. Uh, yeah, let me uh, just uh, call the others, and I like, can Flame on try to like light up his hands with some fire to sort of like try to get like signal flare outs? Uh, you know what? Sure. How about for that, we'll have Flame on roll a uh, 
We'll say it's a charm check DC five. Cool. I hope you owe that. Okay. Oh wait, I have access to the sheet. I forgot. You do have access to the sheet, so you are able. Yeah, to Did we cover that while playing each other's Digimon vocally? We did yes, not. Hello, everyone. This is now a thing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, th there's pre-assigned that each of us has a role as another person's Digimon. Um, but does that mean they're also rolling for that Digimon? They can. They have access to the sheets. But I would I say for combat failed. purposes, we'll leave it to the person. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> we'll get to that later. So, uh, Flamon, you go ahead and you try and shoot out like a couple of sparks just to like get some people's attention. Uh, you also realize that as you try to do so, you're like, I'm going to du dual handed this thing. And so you shoot out some flames. Realizing that one of your arms was gripping the tree. Oh, and balls. you plummet. <laughs> ah! The noise is loud enough to at least alert one of your nearby companions as uh, stumbling along, uh, kind of floating down from one of the trees, you see a, this creature kind of waddle its way in. Ah, oh, well, there you are. What the hell? Hey, okay, okay. Uh, Freeman, you need to work on your uh, sign signaling skills. Oh. oh, great, you found... Wow, they're all together. That's very convenient. That is a helicopter uh. pug. Hell yeah. You go ahead Your... and take that, buddy. There's another one. Guys, there's, there's more Digimon things. Gary unbuckles his seatbelt and goes into the back of his van and begins attempting to build some form of structure to protect himself from the monsters. Come on, <laughs> Fair enough. Straight for uh, the toy. As you're kind of looking for things, uh, you uh, are sorting through stuff and you notice movement. Uh, from besides you, Never as know. this individual next to you is uh, also sorting through your stuff, trying to help you find something. <laughs> it's wearing a very nice hat and scarf. How hey there, there buddy. What are we looking for in here? Also, this place smells funny. <laughs> oh, okay. We're surrounded. <laughs> Gary, don't panic. But we're surrounded. Gary panics. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I... Gary immediately attempts to dive out the side door of the van. Sure Guys, enough. Guys, I'm uh... sorry. I don't think this one speaks English. Go ahead and... It's up uh... to the cause. Like, hey, guys, here with the door from... <laughs> Gary, go ahead and roll me a, uh, a flight check uh, DC of six. I like think Tamron gets hit with the door. You slide the door open as you jump outwards and uh, just dive into the grass. Grayson panics and just turns on the wipers, hoping it distracts them. <laughs> do do our, do our Digimon know our names? They do not. Okay. <laughs> they just feel it. They know who you are, but they don't. They don't know who you are. You know. Okay. I just want to make sure before I tell you, to address Grayson. They they are they are aware of who their partners are. Playmon goes up to Roy and like these guys, am I right? <laughs> Weirdos. Is that Robert talking? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's a that was, terrier. That's what it's my kind of just ever briefly. <laughs> I'm a terrier. As in a dog. Get it? He turns to Grayson. He attacks some sense into this guy. I, I, I'm still wrapping my head around what you are, man. I, I thought Digimon was just like an urban legend. <sighs> well, we're not. Come on, catch up. It's at this point that, uh, Reiner, as you're trying to get an idea as to what the heck's going on, you can see that there is a another one of these creatures kind of just leaning against the van uh, with a little bit of a smolder just observing the whole situation. <laughs> Can't believe I got brought into this. Bunch of nothing loses, I tell you what. What the hell? 
Don't you what the hell me? You put some respect when you're talking to me. I don't know who the fuck you are. I don't give respect. <laughs> <laughs> you think I know who the fuck you are? I kind of do. But that doesn't, that's not a here nor there. You, you fucking put some respect on my goddamn name, tell you what. Yeah, I don't know. I only respect those who can actually fucking compete. <laughs> oh, look at Mr. Dipshit. Doesn't look, fucking ass over tea kettle talking a big game. All right. All right. I fucking see you. Who's, whose kid is this? <laughs> kid! <laughs> All right. That's it. That's it. Put up your dukes. This man is a chill. In, compar in comparison to your Reiner, it's probably about up to your knee as it's putting its fists up in like a fisticuff <laughs> stance. Oh, I, thought was, I thought it was on top of the bus for a second. I no, it's it was, it's leaning. It was leaning next to oh, one of the tires. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it, my buddy, chill. Like, like chill, nothing. You see this guy's disrespect towards me. All right, come on, put your dukes up. I'm not trying to knock you out one shot. I don't, I got to give you a fair shake. Come on at me. Hey, man, no, stop. I mean, I'll do you, it. You, well, yeah, yeah go ahead, knock his block off. Go ahead, you, you got this, buddy. Come on, show me your fighting stance. Come on. Hey, uh, I won't, hey Gary, I won't this is going to be hilarious. Much. You want some of this popcorn from my hat? I am so terrified of you. I, I, don't, I don't condone <laughs> to beating up a kid, but I do condone to... Teach you on a lesson. I said get in a fighting stance. I'll show you who's gonna learn something about something. Guys, yeah, I'm really sorry. He's always like this. We, we, we've tried to talk to him. Right, so, uh, right. are you are you attempting to make a swing at Itmon? Are you in a fighting stance? I, I'll, I'll put my fists up, but like half knowing like what I'm going against. Like I think this is the literal kid. Impmon is uh, going to. Uh, Drop, uh, drop his stance, put both hands on the ground, light the back of his foot on fire, and do a spinning sweep kick to knock Reiner on his ass. All right, <laughs> uh, I would say, yeah, go ahead and give me a fight roll for, uh, for Impmon. I would say, Reiner, you can choose to either tank the hit with a brawn check or try to dodge it with a flight check. Your choice. Oh, uh, it showed up as a Gary roll, but it's four for Antmon. Fair uh, enough. Okay, <laughs> so you can choose either a flight or brawn check. Mm. Let me see my things. Uh, so resisting flight to dodge, brawn to tank. I'm gonna do um, brawn. All right, go ahead and give me brawn check. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, fair enough. That is a draw. So <laughs> you go ahead and uh, Imon, you unleash this flying kick uh, to sweep the leg and it impacts. Reiner, you feel both the impact of the kick and the burning of the foot. You don't move very much. You kind of like your foot slides. You don't tumble. Why am I badass? Hurt, <laughs> but it hurt a lot more than ER has been hitting you. And if that's the way to wake up, <laughs> You are feeling actual pain. All right, all right. Now, now this is a real fight. Okay. <clears throat> God damn! What the fuck are you? Impmon, right, Impmon is f baffled. <laughs> <laughs> Impmon like fucking takes a step back and like right. gets into like a like a boxing stance, and he is obviously <laughs> scared. <laughs> It is at this point that, as you guys are trying to get yourselves together, uh, that finally waddling his way in, uh, lost from all of the uh, all of the commotion, uh, you see a small dragon make its way in <laughs> to the clearing. Dragon, yo! Man. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you guys here? Hey, sorry, I was. Just taking a second longer, you know, doing doing what I do best, uh, being last. <laughs> but hey, I finally see you. Hey, how you doing? Oh, damn, that's a dragon. No, I'm not a dragon. Hey, oh, look <laughs> out, it's gonna eat your face! I'm not gonna eat anyone's face. I just wanna fight about it. <laughs> <laughs> why does it, oh, why do all these things wanna fight? I gotta, I gotta say, guys, I think so. Some of these Digimon look real cool. <laughs> so we're just, e just accepting that they're that now? Okay, sure. Why, I mean, why are you so calm? Fight, right? 
I mean, we can throw hands if you want, but I'd rather not. Yeah, that's we don't. Fair. We don't have to do. <laughs> my, 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 my under mine, you stay out of this. He's mine. I'm gonna <laughs> fight him. Yo, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that guy. I'm, I'm, talking to him, I'm talking to my guy. E Eeyore, why are you so calm? Mono Jamon, hold me back. I am gonna. I don't know what I'm going to do to this guy. <laughs> I mean, if we're I know fighting I'm gonna Gary, do this guy. I can take you on if you want to get him. Hey. She just offered to have you and, like, Mogimon and Impmon <laughs> beat the shit out of Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I barely heard the Mogimon line. I'm sorry. Oh, I was, I was like, it's, since they're all talking about fighting, Ma Mogimon's just like, I mean, Gary, if you want to get in on this uh, just as a bonding experiment, uh, I can take you on. I surrender. <laughs> you know, I, surrender. I, I gotta be real. I wasn't expecting you guys to be like this when we found you. I am very happy you're like this. When <laughs> you guys are so much more interesting than I was hoping for. So you were actually looking for us. Like, you knew we would be here. Yeah, hey, you got the digivices, don't ya? Yeah, you sealies. Did no I... one tell you about this? I, I I need a manual. S someone give me a tutorial, please. Ma Magimon, explain. Explain the rules to them. <laughs> <laughs> rules. Uh, right. I was the one who was supposed to remember the right? rules to tell to our friends here. Hey, Magimon does not remember the rules. Got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, well, fucked. <laughs> all right, all right. Here's here's the abridged version of things. We are Digimon. You no monsters. Yeah, get it. The, just Digimon, though. Don't call us monsters. We don't need any of that judgment. We are here to assist you because you have those devices. That's pretty At much which it. Point at which point, uh, the only ones who are aware of it for the most part, being uh, Gary and Grayson, uh, the, the other three of you have kind of been like putzing about. You're like, what devices are you talking about? And that's when you go to check your phones, realize they are not your phones anymore. <laughs> what the hell? Uh... So I'm just going to take a shot in the dark and just say we're not in your Vista anymore, are we? Where the, Vista. Where's my phone? I'm still paying my phone back! <laughs> I, I already hope this doesn't affect our miles. Our, our minutes. Uh, fix my screen! Plan. Wait, did it fix my screen? This thing looks <laughs> your like screen is fixed. Oh, yeah. It oh, is cool. clear, it's not broken. Awesome. Yo, this place is dope, it fixed my screen. Don't you go getting any ideas about that thing in your hand there, bub. I ain't nobody's assistant. And you still haven't thrown a punch. <laughs> uh, Terry just that. shouts. No! Oh, right, you cut out there. Uh, Terry just shouting, knock him out, rooting on Rhino. No, no, it, Mom, we can't do this, okay? Come on. Come on. You know better. We, we went over this. I don't know nothing. I didn't so go over excited nothing. For this. Why, why are you acting like this? I wasn't excited. You, you were excited. You, you, you're misremembering. Yeah, I, we're, we're all excited. You know, to be fair, it's a great way to see what he's capable of. I, 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 I don't accept this one. This one's, there must be some kind of mistake. <laughs> it is at this point that as you were all kind of figuring out what's going on, Oh you hear some rumbling in the trees that are slowly but surely approaching. With a nice thump, thump, crash. Gary, you start running. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, man. I've got a Digimon. That's what I'm afraid of! I mean, dude, they've been friendly so far. Except for Impmon. He wants to fight. 
I also have the cowardly flaw, so I will also flee for my life. <laughs> oh, you begin following after Gary. As, <laughs> Us cowards, uh, we gotta cower as, together. As two of your, par I, I roll, uh, two your partners have decided to start fleeing. There we go. Oh, uh, it, oh, hey, oh, where are we running to, off. pal? How are you so fast? <laughs> if we get hey, more, cap floats and latches onto to Grayson's shoulder. Where you going? Uh, and... far away from the sound of doom. Thank you. The sound is definitely coming faster, and for the Digimon, you knew full well that there was there's definitely some dangerous Digimon that are in the area. Some stuff that naturally needs to eat and uh, will go out of its way to collect data in order to feed itself. Oh, man. You think the commotion but, I was making? Oh, boy. But you didn't remember seeing any, uh, at least, dangerous Digimon in the area when you went to scout about. So it must be coming from another direction that you didn't, uh, you didn't see coming. But it is still approaching fast as you all are kind of trekking off in that direction. I don't know if you guys are all following after uh, Gary and Grayson or if you're or if they're just hiding in the in the trees. I'm on a Flame, Flame on. I thought you said there was nothing here. I I, I thought uh, dude, I thought I checked. Terriamon, you you checked like the east, right? Nope. Ah, oh, man, Terriamon. Uh Impmon's going to roll a brains check. Does he know what kind of Digimon's coming? Uh you know what? Sure. I mean, let me. I didn't set a DC, but thanks for run it, rolling. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Usually you gotta let me decide that first. Before that is you fair. Go Sorry. about rolling on things. So, just aware for you guys. That way, you guys can actually earn adversity tokens. Fair. Uh, uh, I'll let you roll that branch check again, but let me set the DC at. We'll say fifteen. Okay. Because uh, it's hard to determine a specific Digimon based off fair. of just sound alone. Fair. Uh, just double checking. I got an adversity token because I failed to slap the crap out of Rhino, right? That is correct, yes. Okay, just making and, sure I mark that. And uh, yeah. Flame Mon got an adversity token because of his fail uh, signaling. Yes, so that what goes does a tie do? to Riot. <laughs> does a tie? Oh, no. that applies to Riot. Uh, oh, so you got that token. Yeah, there, so a, a tie would actually not break one, so. Okay. But, uh,. Amon, you have no idea what's coming, potentially. As far as you're aware, it's big, because it's making a lot of noise, but as for type or uh, what size it, uh, or rather what it is, your guess is as good as any. It could be could be a Greymon, it could be a Seedramon, it could be a Kuwagamon. You have no idea. Can, you know I can take it. And it's coming. I can, I can take any of those. Can Magimon... <laughs> far away from being able to inform them in any way what's coming. Roll to see if he knows what it is. Uh, sure. We'll say it's the same thing. Brain check of 15, just to see if you can figure it out. In the meanwhile, Flame on is like, just, Flame on's just gonna crack his knuckles and like, be be, be ready. Like, those sparks come off his knuckles as he cracks them. Fair so, enough. uh, so, we finally be fleeing. Oh, uh, I'm ready to tussle. So, Magimon, you have no idea, but it's big. And it certainly wasn't from the direction that you came. Because as soon as that uh, door to the van opened, uh, you were able to sneak in when Grayson got in. That was the most you kind of did. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead, and uh, Gary, you can take your adversity token for that. All right. Oh, that was for Impmon's roll. Would Impmon uh, get an adversity token? Uh, uh, no, you, you, you got one because uh, Magimon rolled and failed. Ah. So, oh. but... So then, yeah, okay. Yeah, because anything that your Digimon earns goes directly to you as the uh, oh cool as the thing. Oh, you got the adversity uh, token from Flame Mon, right? Uh oh, let me add that. Yeah, yeah, sure. just want to make sure you got that. Also, uh, Grim, you'd get one from Impmon, failing to know what's coming. Oh, okay. Well, take so, a little while for us to get the hang of that. <clears throat> do Impmon do... is uh, Impmon's gonna step in front of Reiner, and uh, <laughs> as though he's protecting him. Be like, just watch and learn. The hell are you doing? I'll show you what real strength <laughs> is. You're going to even take me down. What do you think you're going to take you this shut giant up. I was holding back. The <laughs> crashing gets <laughs> you louder wasn't. and louder. Oh, boy. Until crusty out of the trees. 
Uh, the Digimon at least would recognize what type of Digimon or what Digimon this is. Uh, you see, for the humans in the room, you see a very large and horned blue dinosaur start trekking its way out of the forest into the clearing proper as it lets out a uh, as it kind of looks around at the lot of you. Yo, I didn't know they got that big. Is that a crocodile? Uh, uh, what about that looks like a crocodile, man? I mean, it's there's no way it's a dinosaur. It, I mean, this is my dream. It has horns, man. Yeah, but I got dinosaur to, right here. Yeah, I'm back to our my theory. We're in hell. It's blue. It's not like there's a freaking assured color coordination. Nah, man, blue doesn't exist in hell. <laughs> For the Digimon looking, you would recognize that this is Vidramon standing before you, but. There's something off about how it looks. Looking into its eyes, it looks like cascading data instead of an iris. Ooh. And as it turns to you, it lets out a guttural roar that sounds like... Bidraman, you okay there, buddy? Flamemon does the Henry Cavill reloading of his biceps. Mason, I think we're going to get in there. What? It slowly Work. begins to approach towards you. It takes a stomp, and... Actually, I'm going to roll to see if it uh, if it hits the van. No, oh, no! That's so hard. Gary's not there to protect it. <laughs> <laughs> I hold you up see... my laptop as a shield. You see that he starts stomping towards, and he does not stomp on the van, but he kicks it and kind of sends it spinning, and it topples over to its side. No! As Gary, you He's so far gone. <laughs> and <laughs> lets out another roar. It's not good. It's uh, EOR turns to Malajamon, uh, with the digivice, like, okay, uh, what do these things do? The what? Uh, the digivice. I, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We, we just thought, like, yeah, we gotta find you guys, and that was kind of the end of the script for us. Okay. Right. Man. Flame Jermon, please tell me you're a good fighter. <laughs> the best. Don't it? Yeah, ignore him, right. Yeah, yeah, you see, I knew you were gonna do the whole thing, man. Every time. Man, you know, everyone knows I'm the strongest. Who the? Who is everyone? Yeah. Okay. You, everyone. you see that New the Vidramon? Prove it. <laughs> you see that the Vidramon takes a swing at one of the nearby trees, slashing at it with its claws, and. You see the area where it's slashed at has become like a set of casta cascading data that has been almost removed from the tree. For the Maybe. Digimon here, you would know that, yeah, this thing's got destructive power, but when you slash at a tree, usually splinters go everywhere. There's no collateral from the slash as the tree begins to fall. The data's just gone. Maybe don't get touched by it. Stick to range. And it lets out one more. Now oh, it's getting angry, guys. And I would like everyone to prepare to roll initiative going into our first break. Aw, oh, dip. Oh. Also, roll initiative. I if you get too low, we don't get a break. <laughs> uh, can you move Terriamon to be over my icon? Because like, it's just like... Off to just the slightly off. Yeah, it's yeah. been fucking me for the entire time. <laughs> let, me, let me go ahead and uh, objects and tokens. There we go. So there we're doing it now and then going break. We go. we're, yeah, we're rolling yeah, for I'd, turn order. So and then we're, we're, we're going to add initiative. So let me go ahead and add a turn for Digimon at the very least into initiative. I'm for me let... to Google Flamemon's attack names. 
Oh, it will not give me an initiative tracker. That is sad. I guess I'll have to do it manually. What a shame. So everybody just roll me a flight roll, and we'll add the numbers. Right, from our kids or from our Digimon? Both. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. together. <laughs> Okay, Teriamon's up next. Oh, yeah, am I... But on, uh... Ah, Teriamon, you fuck! <laughs> You're supposed to be fast! My... It was a flight roll, Pyro. A, a oh, flight, sorry. not fight. Yeah, flight sorry, is in sorry, running. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's your speed. <laughs> How dare you? you. My... Uh, so... Be sure to add your numbers. If your dice explodes, ignore the, the ignore the explosion. Just give me the flat, whatever the max value was, and add those together. Tell me what your total number is for you and your Digimon. Uh, Monodramon. Eric, roll. Uh, I, I rolled for Monodramon, I think. Uh, Wait, who, no, who rolls for the Digimon? The uh, human? Yeah, humans. human does. Human does, yes. So roll for yourself and your Digimon. Oh, okay, okay. so my total I is think, seven. I think I did that wrong. Alrighty, so... Yeah, I'm just putting in my in chat. Fair enough. Right. Grace and Terrymon, a total of five. Oh, uh, frick, now that you get Hitmon's up. Yeah. Ten total for... <laughs> ER? For ER. So that's, that's, that's four. Four for... Uh, good old Reiner, then? Oh wow, I'm not to put the wheel. Uh where's Gary at? Uh Gary was the first Impmon roll, uh, because I forgot to change my uh claim for that, but that was All a right. two plus an eight for Wait, ten how... total. Ten total, very hey. well. How do you how do you do a claim? In the uh, chat, uh below the chat, there's like a drop down. You type oh. as and you oh. can do that. Yeah. So let me go ahead and roll for uh good old Vidramon here, so I can set the initiative order. I mean, do we have to fight? Can't we be friends? Friendship is impossible. Yeah, those are friendship roars. <laughs> the roars of friendship. I'm really happy with that, the Gumamon energy that you're channeling for Terriamon. Bring it on. I have the initiative order here, and with that, we can go ahead and take our first break. Uh, Pyro, what Woo! are you thinking? 30, 20, 15? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I would say... Probably, like, what's... 5 to 10, usually. Yeah, take a quick 10, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna bring us back to this screen. And Ooh. I'm also considering we have this screen, and people have been asking to see it. I'm gonna see if I can drop in the... Digimon, also, hello, uh, chat. In character How have you guys there. been uh, enjoying the show so far? I see a oh, lot of yeah. love for Gary and a lot of love for Impmon. <laughs> I see. He... Um, I I also saw a question about mechanics in the game. We'll we'll describe that because this isn't a uh, fifth edition or D and D standard. Right. It's, uh, it's this another game system. specifically is uh, is going off of the kids on bike system. Everyone. Mm -hmm. So the way that that works is whenever you would roll a die value, uh, if it rolls the max number, you roll that number again. Or you roll that dice again. And if you keep rolling the max value, you keep rolling the dice. Also, instead of, like, stats that you would have, like, a flat number to a stat, like a strength score of 16 or what have you, uh, your stats are represented as dice. Uh, like, you have a d4 in one stat and, like, a d20 in another. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, because now we're at the uh, the nice little bit of a break time for things, uh, Pyro, if you'd like to go ahead and let us know what the uh, the breakdown is for uh, the adversity tokens that are going to people. Yeah. Yeah. I will do so that. So feel free now. to add also, those. Also, how do we feel about that positioning wise? Just. Oh, I saw you playing around with it. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, live it, is. It'll, it'll rotate that so people can get a, a larger view of the uh, the characters and whatnot. Hollow did such a fun job with these characters. Oh yeah, do we? Oh, I love do it. we make sure the shout out uh, Carlo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, Let me find yeah, it exactly. The, the art, the artist tag is up there in the corner. Right up. Yeah, the top he's an amazing. Yeah, sure, that works. Um, yeah. Okay, let me do a count here. We should um, also mention that Magimon is like completely original for us. 
Yes, indeed. Prune. Magimon is a original. Uh... <laughs> I was I was brought this by uh, by Chase, who was like, "Hey, could we please?" And I'm like, "I am a graceful god. I will allow <laughs> this." Um, I'm trying to get that Twitter. Um, I know Red. Carlo has Romero. Right yes. Okay. Should be. Carlo yes. Carlo Romero art. Yeah, yeah. Carlo Romero art. Uh, I see it there. Yes, I'm gonna link their Twitter in the chat. Boom. He's freaking talented. I commissioned him like a year or two back for like art of myself and Rapid Mon. Hmm. I did the same for Savage Mon. Also, I did some. Uh, I, I commissioned him for this like Digimon Bridge arts just for uh, like Osbeth. Gobumon and uh, and Gabumon, because those are the characters we voice. Amazing, talented guy. Let also, him know that we sent you. Uh, Tell him Magimon, says hi. Uh, also, similarly, Magimon was drawn by Sabadile, uh, who yeah. makes a bunch of fake Digimon, and I uh, use their design of Magimon also. since I, I liked it better than Ghostmon or whatever it was for the original rookie. For I think it was uh, supposed to be Candlemon, maybe. Yeah, Candlemon. So. Yeah. <laughs> Also, two, it's possible. two it's either things, what? two things, right? Quick, because this will kind of give me a break to to go to the bathroom, right? Quick, because if I'm gonna have to run this stuff, I probably wouldn't get that in the ten minute break. Um, one, if y'all want to uh, join our Discord, it's in the uh, the the link is in the description there as well. If you want to keep conversations about this stuff going past it, we have a board for it. Two, uh, if anybody else before I start, after I come back from the bathroom, uh, running down. Uh, the inspiration token donations and stuff like that. If anybody else wants to, um, you can do so at the link down below as well. Just make sure you indicate who it's for. Uh, Chase, Grim, Nick, one of y'all can run down, uh, again, the inspiration rules right quick. Exactly. Right. I can do that. So uh, how inspiration works is uh, for every $5 donated uh, in a specific direction and things like that, uh, you can choose a specific player, or yours truly, the DM, to gain what is known as an adversity token. The way those work, which they haven't been spent yet by our players, I assume they're stockpiling them for when they really, really need them, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is you can use an adversity token to, after you have rolled, add a plus one to a roll in order to make sure that, that it possibly could go from a failure to a success. And you are able to spend as many adversity tokens as you have. So you are not limited to being like, oh, I only have to, sp I can only spend this one and only get a plus one. You're like, oh, I have five. I could spend all five right now. Get a plus five on this modifier. Totally not have to worry about things. Heck yeah. I, I feel yeah. like I'm saving mine for when I fail a check I really want to succeed on, for instance. Yep. I mean, hey, to be fair, you could have absolutely have used some of those for the car, but I'm so glad you actually got exploding dice and made it work. Yeah, that was cool. That was incredible. Okay, so we have to declare that we're using the adversity before we roll. No, Thought you can choose yeah. to use the adversity tokens after the roll hits, but or after the roll happens, but before I like finalize, hey, here's what occurred. But you already know what the DC is going to be before you yes. even roll. So, like, if I get an 8 and the DC is 10, I have my two adversity tokens. I can choose to meet the DC exactly. Exactly. And the way that it works for that is if you meet the DC, then you've officially succeeded by, like, the smallest margin, but it works. Anything beyond that, uh, I mean, congrats, you succeeded, but anything beyond that is potentially added benefits. You cannot really use adversity tokens to go beyond the DC. I mean, you... If you wanted to, you certainly could. It wouldn't really be necessary. <laughs> if you want it for flavor, by all means. Gotcha. But also know that when I ask you to do a roll, depending on how successful you guys did, you guys have a lot more narrative control on things. So there might be a time where you roll high enough and I'm like, okay, what happens? So when that happens, I will happily let give you guys the reins and give it a shot. Uh, I'll be right back. I am. If you got it. As, as he leaves, I am back. Uh, Perfect. Also, uh, since I am back, I wanted to say, um, you might have saw, seen on the Twitter. If you haven't seen on the Twitter, uh, th this is the sixth anniversary of the Smuck Squad today. Woo! Uh, 
so like getting this opportunity to say it to y'all uh like thank you so much for being with all of us on the journey for such a very long time i know i'm 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 kind of late into the party uh grim and chase have been here since damn near the beginning if not the beginning yeah chase was just like a couple months difference like pretty much yeah wasn't that far because you already you already knew like everyone in the group when it initially started so you're just like it was just like hey it's like oh hey it's him and it just it just looks seamless <laughs> same thing happened with eagle <laughs> like yeah it's like every time you'd be on a stream it's like hey it's like, get him in here like, what <laughs> get him in here get in here <laughs> So, oh, yes, it was described in chat, and I totally forgot. Uh, adversity tokens normally are acquired for players when they fail a check. That's when they get one. However, through the donation, influence that and say, nah, give it to them. They keep succeeding. They need these tokens. <laughs> also, like, adversity tokens don't work like advantage in 5e, as was already said, with, like, you know, you're not rolling with advantage and you have a higher chance at getting it. It's a flat plus one to the roll. So the more of them you have, the more likely you are to succeed. So it's a it's a good time. Do uh, exactly. We also need them to uh, digivolve when able to, like that's, not immediately. That's a surprise tool that'll help us later. Oh, sorry. With so with this fifteen per person, it actually it does deplete pretty fast. Yeah, it incentivizes you to use them. So please use them. They're I'll there for a reason. Yeah. So what do you guys think of the Digimon partners so far? Yeah, what do you guys think so far of everything it was that's going a on? a shocking twist that I would choose Teriyaman as my partner. I'm sure no one saw that coming. <laughs> Helicopter no one, pug. And no one, saw, no one saw Red's pick coming from a mile away either. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that later. I am back. To what later? Oh, all right. Oh, uh, no one saw our picks coming. Shall, with I, Digimon partners. shall I run down the uh, inspiration breakdown? Yeah, go right ahead, so that way we can all start uh, adding them to character sheets. Uh, for Chase, we'll let him know when he gets back if he got any. Okay. Okay, so, uh, first we have here from SL underscore ID underscore 53E5E510 e dash 6D. Don't forget what? a single one. <laughs> Really reading the whole thing. Just dragging this thing. No, uh, they said, uh, as a forever DM, I must give some power to yours. Have fun, everyone. So that's $5 and one point directly to the DM. Oh, they boy, were the right. first out of the gate to say, ha, 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 ha. Oh, it goes to you. Um, Very well. <laughs> Los, Los, Los Chisan. If you're here and I say it wrong, feel free to... Take it out on me. I understand. I want to learn. Tell me how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Yes, say Pyro's name wrong is you know retaliation. <laughs> Py Pyromg, Py Pyromg. It's Pyom. <laughs> anyway, Pyom. Uh, Los Chisan uh, donated thirty dollars and said, "Super excited for Digimon D and D." Super cool idea. Greetings from Germany. So there is no specific designation for that, so I think that was six given to the DM. Sure, I'll take it. Why not? Yep. We could just divide it evenly, like, you know, sharing is caring. Yeah, we could, but uh, as Chase had said, if they don't designate, they go with the DM. <laughs> Alas, I tried. It was, it was I mean, that, and then also so, someone was saying we would raffle it. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know how that works, but that or you know, just sprinkle them to everybody else. But uh let's just but... let's just say it's to the you can make it simple. It goes to you, but you have the discretion to be like, all right, I'm gonna give it to one yeah, to everyone. Can. Or yeah, you know. I, I, I will say because six, I it would be one each. I yeah, I would say because I have the six, yeah, go ahead and give everybody take one extra uh point of adversity token. So I'll I'll still Do be them... at the one and you guys have earned I guess whatever else uh, you've earned through gameplay. Quick uh, question. Fire, what else we got? Yeah, what's up? Uh, what happens if someone donates and we're at max capacity? If you're at max capacity, that goes to me. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure I knew. Because uh, so. unfortunately, I have put a limit on players. 
I have not put a limit on me. <laughs> okay, let me just quickly uh, okay. uh, donate to myself real fast. Hello. This one yep. is clearly indicate while you were gone, Chase, it sounds like we worked out that if it's not indicated but it's dispersable, then it would go one each. Uh for Well, for I, I, I said it, I said I said it'd be at the discretion of the oh, uh, uh, at the, of the uh, DM. Yeah, at the discretion of the DM. So Which he can take case, them because it's early on. I'm like, nah, I'll give it to you guys. When you guys start being little shits, then I will start taking them. <laughs> well, this, we'll take long. This We've next yet to one reach is definitely going to brighten your day, Nick, because Super Reflective gave thirty dollars and says, just absolutely mess them up, DM. Okay. All right, cool. Super so that's an extra, Thanks, that's an Super. extra six for your boy. That so could be any DM, seven. okay? <laughs> uh, it, <laughs> Uh, no, I see my name was my Eeyore. Home, I meant my name. My character's name was DM. <laughs> Daniel Mulligan. <laughs> it could be anything. It could even be a Grim Majak himself <laughs> would love those inspirations. Exactly. De Grim Give me anyone. <laughs> Give me me. Um, when Nick kills all our characters, all we all make new characters with the initials DM. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the word D. Um, next, next <laughs> up, we have uh, Setzer. Axion? I know I'm going to get heck for that. I apologize. <laughs> you're, you're trying, and that's what matters. Uh, I hope all of you lovely individuals have a great game inspiration to every individual in the game. Okay, so that was oh. chosenly dispersed one to each. No, thank you so yeah. much. Hey, fair enough. Come on, so we actually get two. Nope. No. no. <laughs> I tried. Stop. You stop that. <laughs> <laughs> you stop that. Um, and lastly, Bucha M just said for Grim, and uh, it's what? one point of inspiration to you. Five dollars. There you go. Take it. Thank you. Um, who was that again? Wait, who, was that? who was that again? Bucha M. Oh, thank you, Bucha M. Yeah. All right, and if anybody else, uh, one last time, if anybody else chooses to uh, donate inspiration or things like that, you can do that. The link is down below in the description. Um, but basically, they only get applied during these sessions or after game or at the beginning of game. Uh, they, they you can you can donate at any time to through it, uh, but they only get applied. Uh, during the breaks, so it's it's a fair deal. Couldn't I was to say you... Zim has a good point that DM could mean digital monster. It <laughs> certainly could. Uh, you know, it's really hard to say. He just you know keep tugging at the rope, guys. One of these days you'll get something. <laughs> hey, Nick, why can't I get the golden ditchy egg? So is everyone back? <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I... Zim makes a good point. DM. You could also go for digital monsters. Oh, and Zim also makes a really good point. Zim just said that DM could also mean digital monsters. <laughs> I, I hate all of you. Hey, guys. <laughs> did you know DM could also mean digital monsters, according to Zim? So, uh, now I, that we're back... Uh, I, I do have a legitimate question. And, uh, yeah, so go ahead. Uh, uh, in combat, uh, are we leaving the action of the Digimon up to the players now? Just, just want to make sure if there was I believe to avoid confusion. To humans. Uh, here's the way that I'm going to say it. Y'all are partners. Work it out. Okay. <laughs> so, if we'd like to transition us back to screen, I will get some music playing for us because, boy, howdy, do we have some good tunes now. <laughs> some good battle music. Digimon, hey, Digimon. Champions <laughs> of the digital world. Bye, chat. We're, we're, Goodbye, we're chat. To focus directly oh. the game. Oh, God, they're taking me away. So... Start of the turn order. Vidramon. Oh god, he rolled well. Damn, this is He's a bomb. looking at you guys and trying to see which of you is the first one to go after. I'm gonna go ahead and roll a D6 to determine who he tries to go after. Be okay. Please be the van. Flame Mon. Oh boy! He's going to try and make a swing with his claws. This is going to be a composed, c contested fight roll. Are you going to try and tank the hit for Brawn? Try to dodge with flight? Or how are you going to try and avoid damage? Uh, Pyro, what do you think? Brawn? Oh, uh, wait, uh, I can use fight, you said? 
No, I was saying he's trying to fight you. How are you trying to mitigate damage? Either by uh, to try and run away, brawn to tank the hit. How are you feeling about this? Can I? I'm thinking. I'm thinking that you gave him pretty good brawn. You want him to tank it? Well, I have a question first, if I may ask the DM. You certainly may. If he dodges out of the way, does the positioning on the board mean exactly what I think it means? Means not a damn thing. Okay. <laughs> I yeah, thought we'll it was going to mean the he dodges out of the way and I just fucking get a face full of claw. Nope, currently he's just going after Flamemon. Okay. So. Yeah, no, this is this is the other, the other of the mind. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Yep. Uh, in that case, uh, I think honestly, let's let's use your 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 speed here early. Uh, let's not try and get the first hit taken. All right, okay. very well. So it is a flight roll versus a fight roll. Uh, go ahead and roll your flight for me. I'm gonna go ahead and roll uh, a fight roll against you. Okay, I'll go ahead and roll that for you, Pyro. All right, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, that is a flight roll of eight. Uh, he got a five. He does have a plus one because he is a champion versus you as a rookie. Uh, oh no, I rolled a one. Shit. Oh, you rolled a one. I stand corrected then. So, it's a D4. That's fine. Uh oh. So, Flamemon, let's actually take a look and see how big the difference is on this one. Because it is a. Six versus a one. Alrighty. So, he's gonna get in with his claws uh, as you try to dodge out of the way. It just barely makes a scratch into the side of you. And you can definitely feel the sting as it feels like your data is being bitten away at. Flame on, you take one point of damage. Oh boy. Okay. And so I'm at two hit points. You are now at two hit points, correct. Next up in the order, ER and Monodramon. Uh, seeing this, like, oh shit, let's go back him up. Uh, I turn to Monodramon. You know how to fight that thing? And yeah, I, I know. I just, I just use my head. And everything will work. Alright. Hey, I'll give you an opening. And I just kind of skateboard and just kind of wave my arms like, Yo! Hey! Come on! Hey! Yee! I'm... I'm delicious! Alright, uh... Just go ahead and give me... Him. Go ahead and give me a charm check. We'll say the DC is... We'll say the DC is a 10. It's gonna oh. be difficult because he's focused right now. And it's, that's already difficult because my charm is a D10. Yep, you do have adversity tokens potentially. So. I do. I think, what, what can I do with an adversity token here? It, you add you, one. You can add a plus one per adversity Mala. token. So you could spend two, yeah. make it 10, that's a success. <laughs> I'll spend two to make it a success. All right, fair enough. So you go ahead and start flailing your arms like, hey, look at me, and the Just to make it for much one. It's data kind of its body like rigidly stops after it's trying to go further towards Flame Mon, and its head kind of jerks towards you in an unnatural motion and begins to start stomping its way towards you. As oh, this man. is happening, Monodramon, what are you doing? I'm going to run in to do my signature headbutt. Hell yeah. All right, very well. Because of the distraction, I'm going to give you a plus one to this roll. So go ahead and give me a flight, uh, a fight check, sorry. And I will have him roll brawn to see if he resists it. Uh, as he's coming towards me, I just go, <laughs> mistake. I was just like, oh, wow, I, this is an L. Uh, good, uh, do I roll that or does Grim roll that? Uh, either or, whoever wants okay. to. I'll roll uh, it. Do you have any bout plus five to combat rolls? When your health uh, is, oh, fifty percent. Never mind. Uh, battle sense plus five to combat rolls when your health is yeah at fifty percent. So currently wow. not applied. <laughs> Fight right, is, so is thirteen. Eight. All right, thirteen, and that's also add the plus one in there, so that's a fourteen. Fourteen total. So though, we'll see how he tanks it. So that is a four for him plus five because of the size difference. Uh because he's a champion versus a rookie. 
typings are the same because you're both va vaccines, so no bonuses there. Sure enough, yeah. Uh, so five versus a 14, that is a pretty big difference. So describe to me what you do to this Vidramon. So, um, again, I get I get a little head start, and then I start running in, and then uh, I uh, bop my head into his shin. <laughs> sure enough, you go ahead and you collide very heavily with your head into this thing's shin. Your skull? Incredibly hard. This guy's shin? Not so much. As he tumbles to the ground, the leg bending at an odd angle for the most part, which looks slightly horrifying before it recracks itself back into place. That said, it does take two points of damage from uh, a very hefty blow as it's still on the ground. He always is too like, where are you going, buddy? Get it! <laughs> yes! Next up, Gary. I, mean, I did it. <laughs> Gary is a ways away. Yes, he is. You're hiding behind the trees at the moment as this giant lizard has now collapsed to the ground after reforming its leg. We, uh, we gonna get in on this, buddy? Or, uh... We are completely outclassed. Why would you think we would just go in there? I mean, speak for yourself. What, what do you mean? Yeah, I am spe Okay, well, I'm outclassed. I'm not a giant dinosaur thing. I can't get in there and do anything. Are you kidding? What you need to do is just, you know, picture yourself as a leader for a moment. I know it might be hard, but... Imagine, if you were to tell me something to do, to, I don't know, fight that thing off, what would you have in mind? I'm not prepared to take advice from a ragdoll with a carnival hat! <laughs> hey, I like this hat. It's a magician's hat. Oh. Fair <laughs> enough. Gary, you continue kind of cowering in the corner. Majima, what would you like to do? All right, boys, I'm going rogue. <laughs> All right. Time to roll up my sleeves and get dirty in this. I don't have sleeves, damn it. All right, so I think I'm going to do something uh, you're advised not to do on the playground. We're going to take advantage of his weak knee that just got hurt. Do they explicitly say not to do that on the playground? <laughs> well, you're not supposed to kick kids when they're down. I think. I mean, in general, just. I feel like, like you're idea. just supposed to start with not kicking kids generally. <laughs> oh, have you ever been to a playground? <laughs> Savage land, the rules of the wasteland. <laughs> there are many opportunities to kick children. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you have actually been to a playground when you were a child. Okay, so uh, if I if I take a shot at his already established weak point from uh, Mana uh what All do you right. want me to do for that? Uh, fair enough. How are you attacking him? Are you just going for like full on like couple of swings? Are you throwing can some I, energy at him? How are you trying to do can this? Can I outside cannon ask Chase because you created this character what he attacks with? You can. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One second. Uh. Those of us can kind of pull up wikis and be like, okay, what does Terriamon have? I mean, you know, we oh, can also go with based off a of description. He's he's a small little magician guy. He's got a hat. He could pull something out of that. Well, I thought oh, I thought really? about that. Pulls a gun out happen, of his hat. But like, I didn't know if he's like got a wand I can't see, and then that's his basis or something. Yeah, no, I'm pretty no sure wand. he not yet. <laughs> yeah, he mostly pulls stuff out of the hat. Okay, all right then. Well then, I have an idea then. All right, he's going to take off his hat and say, you can talk about my hat. I'll show you what my hat can do. And he's going to fire a cannonball out of his hat. All right, fair enough. Go ahead and give me a, uh, a fight roll. He's going to make a uh, opposed brawn roll. 
he actually will not get his bonus because even though he is a champion above you as a rookie, you're a data type and he's a vaccine, so they cancel out. <laughs> okay. So these will just be flat rolls. And you said a fight roll? It is a, f a fight roll, yes, because you're trying to fire a cannon at him. All right. He's going to make a brawn check to just tank it. Here we go. Are you oh, kidding me? Are you kidding? Am I? Is it broken? <laughs> so uh, we both got ones for Digimon. Uh, Gary, you can go ahead and take an adversity token. You Woo! pull out your hat and you are like, "Get ready for this!" And a muzzle of a cannon comes out of the hat, and you release, and you feel the explosion of the cannon come outwards. But the ball that comes out is only about probably about the size of a tennis ball. And the velocity is not there as it, bunk, hits it into the side of the knee as it begins to slowly stand. It's because I would you love it. Bad about the hat, it's shy now. I would love it. It's just like the wrong things keep getting pulled out of this hat. <laughs> like having ball a ball of cotton candy. Oop, K of flowers. <laughs> Next up, riot. Right. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Flame Mod definitely wants payback for the hit it got. So this guy is uh, standing back up now, right? Yes, he is. Okay. But, oh, if you don't mind, I think he's just going to start going in and swinging. Keeping at a distance and just uh, throwing a fireball. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to keep using uh, what him and use the fire. Yeah, go ahead and use uh, his move Flame Toss. Fair enough. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. It would say, yeah, give me a fight roll. He will make a oppose uh, brawn check to just resist the damage. Yeah, there Ooh. we go. There we go, buddy. Yeah. Alrighty. And he's waking up. And roll his brawn. Like he, he's holding the wound on his side. Just like, like one of his fists slams the ground. Like, let's go. Alrighty. Uh, he got a 12 plus one because of his size difference. So that's 13. I'm going to spend two of my adversity tokens <laughs> to make it a 15, so it is a tie as the impact <laughs> lands into its body. <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, we got him, as the smoke begins to clear, and he's still standing there, relatively. Come on! With sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Vidramon, don't look at explosions. They turn around, <laughs> and they... <laughs> Okay, that noise doesn't happen. Sorry. <laughs> what did he say? So, <laughs> uh, Riot, what are you doing? Because Flame Drummond has done a thing. As much as I want to get in this fight, I only have one jack handle. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh. But, uh, nah, he should keep it a distance, so maybe, considering what this thing can do, I'm not trying to get either of us killed yet, or at all. Yet. <laughs> I, I'm going to use a cheer action. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> cheer on the little fire, dude. Alrighty, uh, I'd say go ahead and give me a charm roll. We'll say the DC is like seven. Okay. <laughs> I mean, oh shoot, my D4 there. Yeah, whatever, it's not the... Sure enough, you're like, go get him? You're still not very sure of this thing that's helping you. I mean, it's assisting, but you're still like, we just met you, and I mean, you're hurt, but what am I going to do? Say go team? It's not very effective as cheering up. <laughs> Next up, Grayson. Grayson is freaking out. He wants to run away. He sees ER, the fucking idiot. Riding up next to it, trying to distract it, and he's just like, "We're, we're running, right? Guy? We're trying to get What's out of here." Right? Now they're fighting. We, we gotta get in there, right? 
How am I supposed to fight? The team, come on, you. We do this. We, we do this together. Come on, back me up here. Let me just quickly the coin. Okay. Grayson's gonna like try to find some place to hide and take cover. And can I try to analyze it with my computer, my goggles, see see if there's anything I can use to scan to discern any kind of weakness or abnormality? You know what? Sure. Go ahead and give me a brains check. We'll set the DC at we'll say ten. Okay. And I can determine adversity tokens after I roll, right? Yes, after you roll, before, like, we finalize it, then you would be like, oh, I want to add tokens. Ah, oh, man, I only have three tokens. There's no way I can make that. No. Do you have any bonuses Six. to, do you have any, like, powers? Well, no, I have plus on. one to brains, but it's already calculating, I think. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. No, that, is, that is not calculated in there. The plus one is not added. Oh, so that's so a, I that's can... a six flat. Plus your plus one is a seven, so... So I can, like, burn all three of my adversity tokens on this. And in order to succeed, yes, you could. Sure, I'm going to do that. Fair enough. So, you try to pull out your laptop and be like, is there anything I can see about this? And the web's not giving you anything until you look down at your... what they referred to as a digivice earlier. And you see that it has a port in it that you could plug your uh, your your glasses into, your goggles. So you go ahead and just slide the USB into it, put the goggles on to look at it, and it takes a moment when you're staring at this very large dragon dinosaur creature. And for a moment, it does like a scanning motion and then gives you a beep, 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 like success. You note the following things. First, this being is known as Vidramon. Second, you know that it is a champion level. And third, you know that it is a vaccine type. Okay. Any weaknesses or any like abnormalities that I can detect from it or just that? You get that from the baseline data. Okay. I would say you can tell that it's uh it is definitely not how a normal Vidramon should be. It is acting erratically, and so far every Digimon you've come across has talked to you. This one is not speaking in coherent language, so something's wrong. All right. Okay, Teriamon, try. You got any attacks that can do range? I got plenty of range. Let's and go. go Dragon breath. Teriyamon rushes in and will launch a Terrier Tornado at it. Fair enough. Uh, go ahead and... Yeah, give me a fight roll. He will attempt a brawn to try and just shrug off the attack, because he's big. You guys are I... small. He's not going to dodge. He would have no need. Teriyamon's are spinning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ER, but... No, wait, that, that's Teriyamon's street, though. Yeah, that's uh... Teriyamon. So uh, I guess he spin. Wait, but he oh, has no, no. he has plus one to five because of innocent eyes. Yeah, innocent eyes. So, so five. That is a five. Uh, fair enough. Spinning so fast, he potentially misses. Uh, that is a fourteen plus one because of oh. level difference. So that's a fifteen. So you go ahead and you spin into this thing, and bounce. But, uh, <laughs> he, he throws a tornado at it. Like he spins so fast that he launches a gust of oh, a tornado. Fair enough. The tornado spins across the field impacts into it, and it does not move. Its focus is still on ER. <laughs> Help. Next up, Reiner. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, you big lug. You stay back. You might think you're big and strong, but I'm going to show you is the biggest and strongest out of anybody. Yeah, you couldn't even take me down, bud. It's a lot of big words from a man who thinks he's very big. But I'll show you the big dogs don't need the bark. And Impmon is going to make a fight roll. All right, very well. Uh, Go ahead. You know what? He's feeling confident enough. He's going to attempt a flight roll to just dodge. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right. Impmon goes for it. Bah! Three. No! That's supposed to be me. 
Uh, I, I figured we were rolling for the Digimon. <laughs> if uh, you want to control Impmon, that, then that's, that's fine. We can talk about it. That's hilarious. What? I rolled a... Uh, so, because of size difference and typing... He rolled a one, but he gets a plus two because of vaccine versus virus and plus one from champion yep. versus rookie. If you wanted to add adversity tokens, I would allow it here. Uh, okay. Uh, so I, I was just saying that because, um... Yeah, I, I rolled uh, for yeah. Marlo Jamon back then because I thought that's what we were doing. Cause, you can uh, if you like. It, hey, you guys are partners. Work it out. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll I'll roll for Mono Jamon then. For yeah, sure thing. Next roll is yours. Oh. Fair right. enough. So, uh, uh, so Renner, if you'd like, you can add adversity tokens to make Impmon's attack a little stronger. So it's three against five. It is three, three versus three. three right now. So oh, okay. currently it's a tie. I'll do one. All right, you'll add one adversity token. Very well. You see Impmon sort of rise up, and it tries to dodge out of the way. But in order to help out with the assist, you run up to its leg that you saw that was injured and give it a nice little thwack to the side. <laughs> so it can't actually jump out of the way. It stomps back down, just barely missing you. As Ipmon, now that it can't dodge out of the way, you unleash an attack into its face. Ipmon, uh, if that's that's the case, Ipmon's going to try to go underneath it and put both hands up and shoot out as much elemental fire as possible from underneath fair, it. Fair enough. You go ahead and you start unleashing these blast <clears throat> after blast into this thing from below. And it's definitely not looking so well as it takes another point of damage. Impmon laughing maniacally as it's shooting out balls of fire at it. <laughs> I am concerned. So, uh, I will say that your assistance in the matter with uh, helping Ipmon was part of your action, specifically Reiner. Okay. So, we will move on to Act to the Top of the Order. It is now Vidramon's turn. It oh, is no. Certainly not happy. However, it sees a couple of different targets. It's focused a bit on ER, but there's an Impmon between its legs. As it kind of looks down and just goes, Hey, yo. <laughs> You kiss your mother with that mouth! And it is going to make a attack, a fight roll against Impmon. I mean, it could just sit down. It certainly could. Uh, so, for Impmon, you can either make a brawn roll to tank this, a flight roll to dodge. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like brawn. Impmon's big and tough, obviously. You're going to tank it? <laughs> yeah, Impmon's going to try to tank it. All right. He's going to get a plus two to this roll, so just keep that in mind as he goes. All right. Swing. It is what it is, baby. That is a one. Oh, oh fuck. So, <laughs> it does not work with its claws. It goes ahead to try and punch downwards. And you're like, I got this, as you raise your hands up to catch it. As Impmon, it flattens you into the ground. Impmon literally closes its eyes, smirks confidently, and holds a single hand out to catch the punch. And, and the, <laughs> it is flattened. In the you ground. take a point of damage and are currently a cartoon pancake. <laughs> currently smashed into the ground. I will say this. He does not have status effect moves, so you just take the one point of damage as you <laughs> smash down. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that we saw him before flush with the ground as Impmon just put up his hand, punch, hand comes up, and we just see now a small hole, and now that, if you would look level, all you see is the hand up, like, <laughs> oh. yeah. The Vidra is then going to raise its arms up into, like, a uh, flexing its arms back pose, exposing the V on its chest as it begins to glow, and it sends out a beam headed for ER. ER, I'd like you to make me a flight check as it tries to hit you with a beam of energy. Oh, not cool, not cool! Uh, uh, goodbye, ER. 10. Wait, how? Oh, it that, exploded! That is also a 10, so because it's a fight against each other, Defender wins. How do you dodge? Uh, 
<laughs> Big and epic. Kickflip. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, was, I said I was on my skateboard, so uh, it's like the style. He's like, and just does you a kickflip. Kick <laughs> you do a kickflip, and you get right in between where the laser comes, because it comes in a V shape. So you jump over the bottom area of the V right through the laser as it passes you by. Yeah. <laughs> Grayson sees that in slow motion. Like, what? It's that. Oh, you fucking. Seeing this man, <laughs> as you land and pick your uh, your skateboard back up, but trying to still keep it distracted. Next up in the order, oh, ER is your fires lasers. Turn. <laughs> Yo, it just goes, dude. That thing fires lasers. Yo, you're up. Oh shit! Oh. It is your turn. <laughs> as you're kind of running around this thing after you dodge the laser beam. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, Mudge, Mudge, do you have lasers? Ah, uh, uh, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm looking at him. So he's totally melee. Yeah, fire breath. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little, there's, a, there's a lot going on here. I am the strongest after all, but you know, I don't want to watch them fight me until, you know, big crazy monster comes in at me. <laughs> Uh, go in front of the headbutt or something. Uh, I'm good at that. All right, leave it to me. All right, go ahead and roll me a fight roll. He's going to try and brawn it just to tank it again. Because he's right, seen Grim. this shit before. You got this, Grim. Ooh. Oh. This is why I gave my Digimon a D20. And headbutt. So, so here's the thing. <laughs> I don't have enough adversity tokens. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, what is, how does Monodramon do this? Oh gosh, it's either I go for his bad knee already, or I, or, or, you know, make you going for mass? Pull. Are you going for the head? What are you doing? Oh, what do you, what do you think? Ooh, may maybe like hit him where the V, like the V laser came out, just get him in the gut. Like knock all the wind out of him. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go right for the gut. So... <laughs> Fair enough. You go ahead and with a almost jet propulsion from your jumping position, you impact right into center mass, right into the V, like a giant X marks the spot. As Vijramon gets a bit of airtime from the headbutt <laughs> oh. before it tumbles back down and is still standing. But it does take one point of damage as it slowly but surely uh, starts ambling towards you all once again. Its body freezes. You can see the iris in its eye that has the cascading data slowly begins to slow down and a white ring forms around it as it is currently frozen in place. Nice. Are we still in initiative? Is this okay? Technic technically, yes. Technically, yes. Do what? So, uh, ER. Yeah. As you're looking at this thing that is now kind of frozen in place by this weird digital like amalgamation about, about it, your Digivice is kind of beeping and vibrating up a storm in your pocket. Take it out. And it is... Almost like magnetically trying to pull you towards uh, where the Vidramon is now. Well, I'm on my skateboard, so I think it successfully pulls me. Sure enough, you get about within five feet of it, and the white ring condenses into a stream of light that shoots into your Digivice. And the Vidramon collapses onto the ground. Still breathing, but passed out. Whoa. We uh, are now out of initiative. And ER, you get a notification on your Digibice. Oh. Uh, you have on there, uh, kind of sorting through it, there is an inventory slot in your Digibice, and it is currently <laughs> filled with one heel chip. One? Right oh. down in your backpack. 
Grayson is going to like easily walk up, like like ready to run if this thing moves again, and like just have his goggles up and just see if he can, like continue to scan this this Vigimon and like the other Digimon and see if what else, like he's just trying to like test the limits of this new feature that he discovered for his goggles and see what else he can do with this. Fair enough. Vaughn is going to pop out of the ground, run at Vidramon, and kind of, like, harmlessly <laughs> punch him repeatedly, <laughs> screaming. It is making a thumping noise as you're just punching and beating <laughs> into it. What the, f the hell? Oh, cool! We won! I'm going to lay down for a second. Ugh! Oh, uh, hey, uh, Imma, you doing okay, buddy? He's fine. So, uh, Grayson, while you're still looking at this thing, uh, it's no longer reading as anomalous when you're staring at this Vidramon now. It seems to be, for all intents and purposes, returned to its original state. What was that? The, the binary code in its eyes. It, it, no was idea. It sick? Was it corrupted? Teriamon waddles over and just tries to pry open its eyelid to see if the code's still there. Uh, looking at it, no. Its irises have returned to its normal kind of uh, reddish eye color. Its eyes are a little rolled back, but it is uh, it was almost like kind of asleep, if not just knocked out. <laughs> I am no doctor, back. but I believe it is back to normal. I Terry probably Mon, knocked him out with my headbutt. <laughs> Leave him alone, Terry Mon. No. If, if we were to assume any of this made sense, it's almost like that thing had a virus. Oh man, he was sick. And we made him. Hey, Mon, you don't take that seriously, do you, buddy? Get Pussy back him. up, you pillow! I'm ready for round two! Imma, right. it's done. You're done. You're, you're done. He, he's you're down. down. You're done! <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Ooh, sick burn. You got me. Alright, we're done. Flamon goes off and just like take, uh, wraps his arm around him. I'm like, there, there, buddy. You, you got him. You did <laughs> good. I <laughs> showed him one for. Yeah. Hey, uh... yeah. I didn't get much of a hit in that, but hey, buddy, don't worry about it. Magimon comes up, dusting off his hat. Yeah, good effort, everybody. We all put in equally on that. All right, D Digimon, what's what's let's huddle up for a minute here. Let's uh. I yeah, what's up? I think we got a yeah. good batch here. Like, my guy is uh, he's a little lost. Yeah, I th I think my guy's like the worst cheerleader. Like he's he's making an effort, but like. Yeah, Kuzma leaves a bit to be desired. They need my, guy, walk. my guy fought with me. Well, it was a distraction, but you know, it, that's the same thing. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of, Im I gotta admit, I'm kind of impressed. Monodramon was like the tank of that there, and his, um, I, I want to call him the accident-prone child-looking one. I mean, he actually it. was a good distraction, at least. Yeah. I mean, Monodramon's and is pretty good at fighting, even though he's just like a vaccine type. No offense, buddy. What? That's racist. Yeah. <laughs> That's digitist. <laughs> Look, I'm a free type. I I'm free spirit. <laughs> and Imamon helped too. Y you did it, buddy. You what do you it? mean I helped too? <laughs> did more than that... you did. You half farted at him. <laughs> you think you pulled your weight? Hey, Terrium, by the way, good, Look, good job with that tornado. Fault. He insulted the hat. You know it's temperamental. Hey, I think next time when you like summon a tornado, maybe just like have the tornado actually hurts. Well, I was time. working on trying to get my buddy involved. He was he was over there with Gale with the other one. Yeah, what the frick was he doing surfing on his computer thing a majig there? Like Yeah, just, like yeah, we it, it, yeah, he's he he like could analyze? He's he like, like he Oh, analyze. hey, it's a Vigimon. Like, yeah, we know it's a Vigimon. But yeah, we knew <laughs> we, we we knew all of that already. <laughs> But, but they don't. Our lovely little batch of humans, you can see all of the Digimon that made their way towards you to help in this situation are kind of all just in a huddle bickering with each other. I, I, I think they're discussing how they're going to eat us now. I, I, I think they're insulting us. 
Oh nope. God, they're conspiring against us. Relax. They, they got our back. They helped us. They helped I mean, save us back there. I I, I kind of like mine. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> yeah, my do I I'm really happy with the guy with Marge Mon. He's real cool. Accepting the reality of whatever this is, it doesn't seem like any of us are waking up from it. And if it maybe isn't hell, they are our best chance, unfortunately, as to knowing what the heck's going on and maybe surviving, it seems like. You guys are entirely too accepting of this situation. I mean, I, uh, cool. Look, I don't know what's going on. I know for a fact that we're not in hell. Like, it, it, that doesn't make sense. It, we're, we're not in a dream. I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to get information so that we can figure this out and try not to panic while I'm doing it. That's why oh, you're not doing a good job of that part, man. Calm I'm trying. Wizard. Wait a minute, wizard, wizard, like wizard, three five three. Maybe. We'll talk later. Anyway. <laughs> why do you know that name? What, the, what, what does wait, everyone seem to know that name? It you know seems that name? is. We're stuck, and the closest no thing we have to a way to survive is these guys. So unless any of you think you can fight a dragon by yourselves, and I know I can't. Okay, thank you for, for prefacing that. I was really concerned for a second. Because he points at ER, I know what he thinks. I mean, it would be fun to try. Man, I don't, I don't get what you guys think. This is a dream. I was able to punch that thing. Hey, ramen guy, uh, uh, first of all, thanks for the noodles that one time. Second, this is not a dream. If it was a dream, this is the worst co-op experience I've ever had in my life. I, and I played I Reach at launch. <laughs> You're going to have to do a lot more to convince me. At this point, through the both sides yes. bickering with each other, uh, the Vidramon in the back slowly but surely begins to stir. Ah! I hide behind Wyatt. Yeah. And he's kind of going to look around the for the most part. Yeah, the tipped over fan. <laughs> yeah. As he kind of looks over a lot of you. Oh, uh, hi there, everyone. Please don't eat us. Did I take a nap? Yeah, and you kind of tried to eat us. I did? Yeah, you kind of started a fight with us, and we had to, like, kick your butt. But it's cool. It's cool. Well, that doesn't seem like me, unless I had a reason to fight you. Gary immediately exits from behind the van and storms up to Vidramon. You knocked over my van! You attacked all of these people! You attacked all of those things! You did a lot of damage! Look at that tree! You look at that tree! And he's gonna look, look over it. to the tree and see the missing uh, data that's still cascading from it. He goes, Whoa, that's different. You did all of that! And I demand some accountability! Damn. Y'all is so impressed, uh, and I was like, damn, you, you know be what? Gary, man. Gary, Ga Gary, Gary, you can choose between either a, ch I, I would say either a, a charm or a grit roll to okay. intimidate this Vidra <laughs> I'm going to do charm. Go right ahead. In the back of Gary's just... <laughs> 14. I, 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 will, I will have it roll a grit check against you just to see how well it does. He's doing a belly dance. <laughs> <laughs> do a... Do a silly little hustle move. Uh, and I... it, it does not succeed as it kind of like is taken aback by your <laughs> yelling. <laughs> and it goes, uh, okay then. And he kind of stands up a little taller, like still taller than all of you. Goes <laughs> over to the van and sets it back upright. There's a lot of clanking and clanging from the inside of the van from all the stuff that's in there. Glass shattering noises. And he kind of like dusts <laughs> off the top. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, I don't remember what I was doing the last however many cycles. Cycles? Like, and it kind of looks yeah. over to the Digimon at this point. Who are you guys? Can you hey. tell me what's going on? Uh, yeah, yeah like, you went on a fawn rampage, bro. You had, like, your numbers and junk in your eye, it kept, like, flying by, and your voice was all distorted. 
It sounded like this. But like more like this like that. Yeah, you're glitching, bro. I was glitching. But kinda. Yeah, I totally like, like oh, oh, yeah. man. He's probably just sleepwalking, guys. <laughs> and he kinda like claps his hands together and he goes, That must have been it. It was after I met that guy. What a guy? Yeah. Hey, Grayson actually like steps up. What guy? Can you like give he's us kinda a like gonna like he's kinda gonna like thunk on his head a couple of times, like trying to think back. Mm, well it didn't look like you guys, and he's kinda like gonna point at like Grayson and a lot of you. But I know he's not around from around here, that's for sure. Wait, he's definitely he... not a part of the forest. Was he like human like us? Oh goodness, no. He was definitely a Digimon. But I Equally don't terrifying. What he looked like. That's really frustrating. I'm sorry again for all the t trouble I might have caused, and he kind of like gives a little bit of a bow. That's fine. I well, I find it very hard to hold a grudge against a giant dinosaur with three horns that can shoot lasers out of his tummy. Dude, I did a kickflip over your laser. What's a kickflip? I, I show him a kickflip like, like this. What's it? No, shit. Uh, let me try again. Let me try again. Uh, like this. Oh, it's, it's, re it's a really hard trick. One second. Let me do it again. <laughs> so You're doing that Constantly. on the ground. There's no concrete. Yeah, yeah no, just on grass. <laughs> yeah, shit. Damn it. <laughs> That's why I haven't been failing. Like, oh, just, just imagine this three times cooler. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> That does seem pretty neat. Yeah. So, um... Considering you seem pretty apologetic, and it seems like we can all forgive and forget on that side, would you by chance know of any kind of society or a village around here where we could just kind of get, get our home? bearings? Yeah, how close is uh, Ol Vista, Ol Vista from here? How can we get, ho get home, please? Hmm. Well, I don't know how to get you guys home, but I know there's definitely some places to check out. At least some places with other Digimon that might be able to help. Oh, damn, is this Chicago? <laughs> and he's going to kind of like... No, no, he's killing each one other. Of the, uh, he's going to point in one of the directions, kind of where he came from. If you go, keep going that way, I believe you should make it over to the Vegemon village. Vegemon? The, the, oh, there's a Vegemon. There's plenty of Digimon all over the place. Okay, is there a get us home on? Please let there be a get us home on. I've never what? heard of a Digimon like that before. Do oh, you the know of a the Muffin that Man has people that look like us by chance? They're not like evil doppelgangers. You know they're evil because they will have goatees. It's the law. Hmm. Well, the last time that I saw somebody that looked like you guys, it was a good many years ago. Back during that old incident thing. It's but if you want to know where they were at, they were probably over at the tower. Tower, okay. Does the Vigimon village have a map? They should be able to help you out. I'm sure they'd be happy to. Okay. It's better uh, than nothing. Good place to start. Yo, I was going to turn to the group. I mean, I'm just going to say it. Humans being here at incidents and only being at, referred to at the tower, kind of. That I'm gives sure us vibes. A name for it, but I don't it, remember it. I'm just saying it gives us vibe. It gives us uh, vibes, which, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. Why does this sound like some sort of, like, anime I saw once? It kind of sounds like a video game, which is kind of, which is, uh, kind of cool. Can't dig in it. Okay, no, no, well, we... no one on the forums gonna believe I got easy kaid. You said, "Well, uh, uh, oh my, never mind." <clears throat> well, we know that we need to get to the tower because there are people there. The only way to get there is gonna be to go to the Vegemon Village, I guess. I, I'm, I'm making a bunch a of Vegemon there. <sighs> I open up my computer, so I'm making a Google Doc to like write down everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Like, it doesn't take you much time. Right now. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Fair enough. 
laptop? Hey, do you think or Google or... Maps will work on that thing still? You know what? Weird. I can't ping Google's IP. I can't open Google Maps. That's just not here. It just you, says fuck you. You open up Google Maps, actually. Oh my god, it's here. It it's shows you word. an area that is definitely not Earth. <laughs> Yeah, guys, uh, Fog of War is kicking in. I don't know where anything as is. As far as you can see, where you're in is a very heavily forested area. And when it tr it's reaching what would be considered, like, the edges of it, it is cut off in nothing but gray. You can't see anything past that area. I uh, take over my laptop and I, I, I spin it over so the group can see. Yeah, I don't think we're getting any mileage out of this. I'm so that's cool that you have a Fog of War map. Yeah, that's not that's not mine. <laughs> I just lost my laptop. Huh. Looking at the map, though, it does say that the area that you are in is known as the Digital Forest. The Digital Forest. Okay. I wish there was more I could do for you guys, but I'll be honest, I don't know too much else. You I maybe just be being careful out there, though. Can you maybe escort us to the... Vigimon Village, in case we get jumped by another guy sleepwalking? Sure, I could try to do something like that. The only other thing that might be an issue is if we saw the Guardians of the Forest. Oh, what, why would that be an what, issue? What, what are those? Oh, they're real powerful Digimon. They always like to fight each other. But they usually keep away from anyone that would get caught up in their fights. So you should be fine. Okay. Grayson is going to split off from the group for a little bit with Terriamon and just... Is the tree still having the missing data stuff? It is still missing. The tree has fallen over at this point, but again, there were no splinters from the initial impacts, and it's just, like... <laughs> you can see the code inside of the bark of the tree. I'm going to take my goggles and just see if I can see anything. If it's giving me any readings at all, just so I can like, get some kind of clue, if that's possible. Uh, sure. Give me a brains check. DC's gonna be 15. Yeah, I only have one adversity token. I'm not gonna be able to make that. Fair enough. So you take <clears throat> your adversity token. As far as you can see, the data's just not there. Like, looking at it, you can see, oh, here's where the full data of the tree would be. But a part of it is just missing. What the hell is that? Data? It's not being eaten away any further. It looks like just where the claw marks were, it's just like it got erased. Ah, uh, that's... That's so weird. I, I, I know I'm not the best IT guy in the world, but I feel like I should make sense of that. What the hell? Uh, this is going to bug me for a while. I'm just... Hey, Grayson, yeah, just... And figure it out later. Uh, yeah, it just... I don't like not having answers to things. It, well then, me. well, then we'll find it later. <sighs> Come on, join the rest of the group. We're, we're figuring stuff out. Okay. I'm just going to begrudgingly regroup with the others. Fair enough. Hey, I just uh, kind of drags him by the hand. Come on, we'll go with the group. You, you know, like three times your size, man. I'm, I'm dragging you. So sure enough, you make your way back to the group. Uh, <clears throat> Gary, do you try to start your car again? Now that it's righted, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. Sure, go ahead and uh, give me a, we'll call it a grit roll because you're trying to just will this thing back into existence. All DC right. is gonna be 15. <laughs> oh God! All right, we got a five. So you go ahead and you turn the car and you turn the key. And you and Riot both recognize the sound of its last gasp. Of oh, man. <gasps> no. Before oh. you're like, oh, it would need a full shot before repairs. Oh, no. Do we want to put a neutral and push? It was doing so good. Hey, Vigimon, have... can you carry, a, carry this? <laughs> oh, I could probably. It'd be a little tough, but... Yeah. You know, Hold maybe on. there's like a mechanic at the village. I have duct tape. It's gonna go ahead and I, I'll say I'm gonna have Vigimon try and roll a uh, a brawn check to lift this thing. 
couldn't we just put it in neutral? <laughs> it tries to lift it, and you hear a crack as it goes, Ah, my back! <laughs> hey, what it's happened? okay. <laughs> Is your knee okay? It's not feeling too great, I'll be honest. I might oh. need some meat by the time we get there. Hopefully okay, there's okay. still some in season. None of what nope. you said made sense. Nobody tell him what we're made out of. <laughs> if I can push this thing, I'd be able to. Yeah, yeah, we... we yeah, that's that's gonna work a lot better. I'm, yeah. I'm so. <laughs> going to go into the back and start playing one of my rips of Magus XLR. Fair enough. Are we all in the in the bus right now? Yeah, Are you all in the van? Are you all getting in? If he's gonna do that. <laughs> van bus. So... Uh, I, I'm gonna hop in and help. think to myself. I wonder <clears throat> if this heel chip will work on the van. Uh, Not the Vidramon, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> so sure all enough, right. you all pile into the van. Gary in the driver's seat, kind of just helping to steer as Vidramon, uh, which again is about height-wise a little taller than the van itself, starts just pushing the thing, uh, steering you in the direction of where the uh, supposed Vegemon village is. And it's about a good hour or two of travel. So are you guys doing anything in the meantime? I know uh, Amon wants to talk to Reiner. Alrighty. Hey, you. Yeah. Like, kicks, like a little kick. Just a little, little kick on you. What's your name? <sighs> Do I really have to tell something in my dream? Hey, I'm asking for your name! And I'm gonna remember it! <sighs> Reiner. <laughs> My name's Impmon. He, like, flicks his nose a little bit with, like, his thumb. Like, smirking. <sighs> well, I guess it's nice to meet you, Impmon. It's just... It's all this is just weird. Well... You handle yourself okay out there. Not great, but okay. Yeah, sure. You say as you notice that one of Impmon's ears is still flattened to its head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe with a little time you could actually do some damage. What are you? We actually, I did some damage. You see all those burn marks on that guy's undercarriage? Yeah, but if you didn't notice, I had to help you out there. Which is why I said you did okay. Helping me is the correct thing to do. Okay, then. You'd make a good underling. Yeah, well, well, let's see when you can actually uh, push me farther than, like, a semi-inch. I'll push you far. I'll push you all the way up the road. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> big words coming from a little guy. Yeah, we'll see how big they are. We're going to put them in practice. And then Mon's, like, doing a little, like, hopping in place little thing with his fists up. Like, doing a little shadow boxing jabs the, at you. It very much rattles the chassis of the van. <laughs> Which, Gary, you do notice as you're trying to steer. Hey! No jumping around back there! Play I know what I want! Playmon ducks his head in from sitting on the roof. Oh, so I, uh, so I get back in here? I've just been sitting on the roof of the van watching. I, I feel like he would have been just like That's turning fair. on the roof as a monk me. I feel mm -hmm. I feel like, you know what, considering the situation, freaking Riot's gonna climb out the window and chill on the roof with Flame on. Hey man, come to the party. It's, the views up here is so nice. Might yeah, as you well open get the a side. look at what's going on around as they talk. You open the side door as it's being like pushed in a direction, which Gary kind of looks back like, "Come on, guys, this is not a house. This is a <laughs> don't just open the roof. door. I'm... That's so unsafe." The roof and is then slides the door shut already. as uh, <laughs> as Riot is uh, now on the roof with Flame on. Welcome to the party, man. All right, so I've come to the realization that I am not going to fully understand what's going on here, but I can at least Quit up. put it in terms that I would understand. If that thing was a virus and you guys are like assist companions or something, 
then we're stuck in some kind of video game scenario. So Kinda Impmon's a virus type. Don't don't you dare say that derogatorily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just clarifying down there, buddy. He just bangs on the roof. <laughs> Impmon tries to bang back, but he's short. <laughs> like you see, we're kinda like subdivided into groups like Terriamon and Majimon, those guys are like vaccine types. Like, Magimon's like a data of Ipmon's a, a virus. What are you? Oh, I'm a free type. I'm a kind of outside the normal spectrum of uh Oh man, it's like Okay, so imagine if there was some sort of game where one type beat the other in some sort of triangle X formation. Okay. That like uh, like Fire Emblem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> call that, so we look, don't make the immediate jump to the other game. <laughs> we call that uh, rock, paper, scissors where we're from. But how, how would rock beat paper or scissors? Oh, because I could like smash the scissors. I okay. I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting yeah, it. And then the paper can crumple around the rock. Uh, w- the weird choice there, but okay. So if that same logic is applied here, then maybe there's a way we can work with this. Yeah, I'm just uh, f- a free types. We're kind of like outside the normal sphere of like that. We're, we're kind of like we're doing our own thing. Oh, so it's like the little rock paper scissors Chuck Norris version. I, I have no idea who that is, man. Chuck Norris beats all. You're Chuck Norris. Uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> if I beat all, but like three times, you kind of like go neutral against everything. We don't resist, but we don't do super effective damage. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't sell yourself short. You can be a mall. No, no, no. I'm saying like three types as a whole. I am a badass. I kick ass. All right, there we go. Yeah. I think we're gonna get along okay, you and me. You mean uh, getting along already? Hey, check this out. And he just, like, creates a fire between his hands. Cool, right? Yes. Well, uh, technically hot, but yes. I'd like to see the others create fire. I mean, Itmon can do that, and sometimes Magimon. And and Terumon kind of, but it's like a little petite, little... My my fire's cool. I I can do fire breath. Shut up, Majimon. Okay. <laughs> if you specialize in something, you get better at it. Y'all are just dabbling. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. I, I'm flame, man. My, my father's cool. Uh, I would like to talk to Majuman. You are allowed. Dude, you were awesome back there. I know, right? I told, See, they, they don't want to really say I'm the strongest, but I am. I, 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 I kind of think you're the strongest, man. I, I think so too. I mean, no, I look. I, I took the guy down like two times. Like, <laughs> yeah, I took with two headbuds and it went down. Yeah, man. I, I and I was a friend. More. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I could kick his butt if he turns evil. But yeah, it's great. That he's a friend for now. Yeah. <laughs> I got my eyes on him. <laughs> uh, that's a good idea, man. If he doesn't appear out through the tiny window in the back of the <laughs> van, and he like kind of gives a small wave. Yeah, I'm on to you. <laughs> I'll be the first one to tell you guys if he defects. Good idea, man. Be watching out. Yeah. I mean, I'm my my thing is to protect you, and that's all that matters. Oh, thanks, buddy. I'll watch you back too. Yeah. I, I, so, did you guys get hurt back there? Like, do you need any? Do you need any first, like first aid or anything? Yeah, I just need some food, and I'm good. I'm good. I, uh, how about you, Ipmon? Uh, you kind of got roughed up back there. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Ba- baby doesn't want to acknowledge his, his boo-boos. <laughs> you're a baby! <laughs> you're a boo-boo! Cry. What What even is that? <laughs> Ipmon's, like, trying to unflatten his ear. <laughs> Fair enough. Is this Give a boo-boo? <laughs> Given enough tries, it finally like pop. Say good as no. Ain't seen okay. nothing. Okay, but hypothetically, if you were hurt, which I can never could be, because I'm so strong. Obviously, yeah. Uh, w- would you need help with that? 
I mean, I got I got my bell long. I could use like some healing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but do they heal just like casually, or do they need like actual healing devices? No, they'll, they'll, they'll heal powerful? over time, especially given okay. you know just rest and food okay. and things like that. But, okay, so uh, it, it's like food and rest, just like in the show. Exactly, and uh, okay. the the chip will you have? Well, once you probably ask Grayson about that info, you might know what it does. I must consult the wizard. <laughs> Consult the wizard. The wizard. Why does everyone keep calling me? I mean, this is my username. I get it, but come Be on. Because you're magic. I, it, it's not magic, man. It's man. You been... turn my D into a B in computer class. It's magic. I, we've been over this, man. It's. I have a D four in brain. <laughs> Eor, we've been over this. It's just PowerPoints. It's not magic. Come it's Adobe. From. Okay, but, well, but who is Adobe and where does he live? Oh my god. Uh, okay, buddy. What, what what you need me to take a look at? Uh, yeah. So when we kind of on Vidramon's bell, my device, digi my Digimon device, digi Digivice thing, uh, have absorbed something. I think, and it kind of, I, I have this. I have this thing in my inventory, I guess. <laughs> okay, let me take a look at that. No, no, I don't play. I don't play video games. How does this work? It's just like so. You go ahead and you pick up the uh, uh, ERS Digivice. You've you, already you learned know? how to navigate on this thing pretty damn quickly because it's it's not the most advanced interface, but you know, given you've enough never time, you played a video. You haven't picked up Skyrim on PC, really? Nah, man. We do mods. I, I can help you out with that. Okay. Uh, okay, looking at look. the uh, the inventory status, you can see that there's something in there. It is known as a, specifically put, a H a heal chip is what is in there. And if you wanted, you can try and do a, uh, I'll say a brains roll to try and use your scanner to see what's what's up with it. I will do that. I'd say DC's like five. <laughs> DC five. Doing a. Is this a time where I can like do that prepared action thing? This is a planned. Uh, this is a planned action. So yes, you could take half if you wanted. Yeah, I'll just do that. Fair enough. You go ahead and you take a little bit of time looking over this thing. And sure enough, I mean, it is. Uh, it gives you a prompt that if you select it, it uh, it asks you if you want to use the item, and it allows you to kind of aim at various Digimon, and it's like you could uh, hit accept on that. When applied to any one of you, or like kind of pointing it at there, it kind of gives you like an error message. Uh, but from context clues and seeing how it can be applied directly, you realize that the heal chip, uh, per its description, uh, could be used to heal a Digimon in combat purposes. Uh, and it does not just have to be specifically uh, their partner. It can be aimed at any single one. Yeah, yeah, so it looks oh. like you can just, like, heal a Digimon with this. Oh, cool. So for description purposes, uh, ER, what you can do for that heal chip is that in combat, it heals one hit point. Gotcha. Heals which, one hit point. Which currently, for you guys at your level, pretty fuck big. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty huge. <laughs> uh, Grayson is just going, like, after he's done with ER, he's just going to like get up into the front seats, sitting next to Gary. Like, you doing okay, man? I'm doing as well as could reasonably be assumed any normal person could be doing in a situation like this. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm barely keeping it together myself. This is weird, but you got me. This is kind of cool at the same time. It would be kind of cool if I didn't get whisked away into a magic world where everything's made of fire and dinosaurs, and I could have just, you know, gotten the coffee I was supposed to get and brought it to everybody. I haven't gotten another text from my boss yet, but I'm sure they're pissed off. I, I, I'm, I don't think we have reception in wherever we are. That's probably for the best. Magimon just pops up like, I don't know who this boss is, but he ah! sounds like a dick. You gotta stop appearing out of nowhere. Jesus. 
You got a. You are. You are quiet, guy. You know that. Pal? You seem so high strung. I yeah, mean, I mean there's no way to live life. It is a perfectly acceptable way to live life, I'll have you know. There is nothing wrong with being prepared. There's nothing wrong with being. Uh, uh, not. There's nothing wrong with being freaked out right now. This is a crazy situation. Well, I mean. I mean, think of it as a vacation from work. You. From you're safety. walking hard, and you just need a vacation. You're in the Bahamas, man. Think of it like yeah. that. What's when there's Bahamas? a hurricane and dinosaurs in the hurricane, it, we're, we're in the Bahamas with Sharknado. What's a shark? How made? relaxing. That sounds so relaxing. Yeah. He sounds so good at this. Yeah, I, I, I am so good at de-escalating problems. Well, look at it this way. <sighs> the sooner you get to the village, the sooner you'll know what's going on, I suppose. That's probably good, right? I, I don't think there's going to be a way that I find out what's going on, even if we get to the village. This is too crazy. Yeah, this... Why... Hey, tell you on. Why are you guys following around? Well, we're your partners. Y you say it like it's second nature, though. Like, why? For us, it is. We're, we're a team. We're your partners. Yeah, we don't get to choose which ones. Did, did someone tell you uh, look for... On the third day, for five schmucks to arise from the forest. Did, uh, or did you guys just born Digimon. with that noise? You, if you try to recall, you re remember a message that was sent out at some point that called to you. You could not decipher it in its entirety, but it gave you this feeling to go look for your partners. You don't know its origin. You don't know who sent the message in any way, shape, or form, but you know that it's right. It's uh, that, what he said. Thank you, ominous narrator. <laughs> You're welcome. Now get back into the, get back <laughs> in the meta. Do y'all, oh, <laughs> as humans, you call yourselves, have like this innate urge in you that tells you to breathe or drink or whatever y'all do or do you just stay do hydrated it? yeah we, it's some things are sick nature to us yeah that's how it is in our heads we just know we were supposed to be here assumedly y'all need us some of y'all more than others yeah no, hey I yeah I, I think gary and i are trying our best well, i wasn't talk about you we're gonna help oh, you. Wait, so you it was Gary? just no, I me was talking then. About Gary, I was absolutely talking about Gary. Hi, yeah, Gary. Yeah, so it was just me then. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was I supposed to do? I mean, I'm I'm right here with Gary. Not I run mean, away. Why wasn't I supposed to run away? <laughs> okay, uh, let me first like this. There's Riot, who is one of the scariest guys I've ever seen in school. There's ER, who I've seen him get hit by a bus once and walk to the hospital himself. And Rhino looks like he belongs in the Yakuza. I'm not gonna lie. He, he and Wright are the scariest guys I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I used to run a delinquent group. But and I'm just, uh, just, just from an outside perspective, those are the guys you want to stay away from right now? The ones no. that hold the strongest chance, it sounds like? N no, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying those three, I feel like they're natural for the situation. Gary and I are kind of normal people. What's on, normal? Bro. Okay, all right. No, we're going to get to that in a second. Hold on. You said from school. Which school? Do to my notes. Yeah, it would be Earl Vista High. The Earl only Vista high, school, high. The only actual, yeah. like, very big high school. The, the only actual high school, Earl Vista High. 
You just ask which high school. <laughs> oh my god, you're all in high school. Yeah, aren't you? I just, I just graduated. Oh my god, you're all fucking kids. <laughs> Am I the o I, I might be the only functioning adult here. And you ran away. Functioning you, is is I, you, I think you look young for adults. Days. You ran a delinquent group back there, Mr. Backsass! How about you calm down with functioning? I mean, I was, I was the only thing keeping them from going out of line. So. I am I am absolutely a child, and you neglected and left me to die. I, <laughs> I will be talking to the police. Oh, my God. I. <laughs> Are you talking to me? No, like, I'm right? talking no, to, to Gary. Gary. <laughs> there is a shuddering sound as the van stops. <laughs> What's a child? And, uh... Sure enough, Gary, turning your head back uh, from the discussion, you can see as to I why the Jermon stops. Uh, aside from the fact that there's a very large gnarled branch that kind of blocks the path, you can see that there are a few signposts posted that are in a language you do not know in any way, shape, or form. Oh, the Jermon kind of walks over, picks up one of the signs with his very large claws, and kind of scratches at his head. Oh, that's just silly. What does it say? And he kind of points it and turns it over. Uh, for the Digimon in the in the room, in the van, it is in digital speak, and it reads, Vegemon on strike. Oh, no. And that's where we're going to call session. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what a fucking session. This was so much fun. Us, I'll bring us back to the, uh, I'll bring us to the ending screen. Go right ahead. I guess so. Nick was like, let's play! Let's play! Fuck! Fuck I had you guys! So, I had so much planned for you guys. I planned even more because you made me wait. Yeah, that, yeah, I've got that's till, the, that's the, I've got that's till that's season three planned. Yeah, wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait, that was, the the beginning. that was at the beginning. Now we're 21. Season 21. <laughs> Holy... That was really fucking fun, though. Oh, yeah, that was good. Was. I love this. That's so <laughs> good. I swear we're not going to get in trouble. Are we? I, you, uh, no, we've been fine. swearing yeah. so much. Uh, Ipmon alone has been a swear. I, 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 I am so glad. So disclaimer. I am I, so glad. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I thought to say, Ipmon is the word fuck, given physical form. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I feel like the the Digimon saying. I mean, I mean, maybe Imon's the exception, but like, <laughs> I, I I try not to for my Digimon, but for like these characters, it's like, I mean, unless I'm told we gotta keep it PG, then I I'm, hey, it's fine. It's based on your own personality for the Digimon for the most part. So if you're like, ah, they're more of a PG type, then yeah, feel free to. Yeah, Teriyamon's so. PG. He's <laughs> Teriyamon's Mono PG. Monodromon is PG. It's because they're vaccine types. Oh my god! Oh, oh, they're vaccines. I, I feel like. Playmon is like he totes the line a little bit of like he very much so does. <laughs> yeah. Little punk speak. Yep. But by the way, I apologize, Storm, for butting into you and Gary's conversation. Oh, don't worry about it, man. I was given it... is he likes to be the center of attention, so that figured <laughs> Not uh, dude, that helped. Don't worry about it. That was fine. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> uh so I guess uh th quick thing from my players on this one. Uh any any notes of things that were like, hey, more of this, less of this, etc., or just you know, Hard in general, like, hey, 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 Mr. DM, could we could we do less of this thing, please? More uh, of playing the game, less of yeah. not playing the game. It, it's yeah. only the first session. <laughs> more of having sessions. Right. Right. Sessions. I, I we've only gotten to you all are together now, so yeah, that's it's, the point of keeping you all together. <laughs> it's just the first session, so hard to say. That being said, I do. Th See one problem, and that's that I don't have the golden J yet. I, I think I that's a serious problem. <laughs> I, yeah, that's kind of a huge deal. Yeah. I wish I could take away adversity tokens. <laughs> I, I wish I could, could do that, but I've given you, them to you, and so have donors. If you could just at uh, Nick the VA, Nick A the VA on Twitter, and just ask when golden did you egg, that'd be great. That would make you know, my dreams come true, guys. You know, speaking of, uh, while we're all here, uh, before we wrap, uh, we did get one donation from Level Max D and D donated ten dollars, saying, "As a DM of my own D and D uh, Digimon series, 
I got a support. So here's your here's your adventure. May it be long and fruitful. And I would say that's for the DM. <laughs> that's fair, fair enough. That's that sounds fair. like two oh, points God. for the DM. Well, I'm going to hide beneath my desk until I find a digibaby. <laughs> Come on, protect me. Uh, if anyone so glad. In, in chat wants to uh, end of stream, do inspiration stuff for the next session, which I wanted to kind of segue this into, it sounds like our next session is going to be... The 21st, was it? The 28th, because I work the 20, 21st. 20, 20, 20, <laughs> Got you. Okay, so, so 28th. All right, so, so yeah. our aim is going to be to get two sessions in a month at least. If we can pull off more than that, we'll aim for like maybe three sessions in a month. But uh, lucky, yeah. for right now, our aim is to keep the pressure on this and be able to get two in a month. We need more of Gary. Yes, we do. <laughs> I we now know <laughs> straight up and I want to thank everyone who has been here today during this stream uh, at max we went over 80 viewers for this so we know there yeah, is the huge. audience there you guys yes. are enjoying this and we want to keep it fun for you guys oh absolutely yeah. please tell your friends to check us out next time we game share the love just share the link the word. and if absolutely. you like and if you like the Digimon, like our interpretation of Digimon, we have an bitch series about it. Go ahead and check that out. We have uh, eight episodes now of us scripting and going through the digital world. Digimon it's... Adventures, season one. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. on this very channel, uh, Digimon Abridged. There's uh, a playlist for it. They're all over here. And episode eight is like 40 minutes. It's yeah, a long, and, but it covers the length of like two episodes, so mm -hmm. that that's why it's long. Don't yeah. at me. So you can tide yourselves over and have some fun with that. Yeah, exactly. Equivalent of a season finale, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's like like it's like a mid-season finale. <laughs> but uh, yeah, otherwise, I I hope everybody enjoyed session, both from absolutely the and did. the viewer perspective on things. I am very much so looking forward to when we get next time around because yes. uh, we'll get to figure out. Let's go with Vegemon. What's, what's the deal with that guy? So excited. <laughs> what are those? We so, definitely need so to have a, a thing between that and just kind of like, like if we can, in in the chat that we have, just brush up and make sure all of our uh, stat things that uh, change roles and stuff like that, we all know what is what. Also, like, as well, if in, I mean, this is probably more up to Nick, to be fair, but just like, in now that you've played your character or Digimon or whatever, if you feel like you want to reassign some stats, knowing like with some experience what they do, that might maybe be a thing. I don't know. Like if you're like, oh yeah, I don't use grit ever, but I made it my D20 stat. Um, or like, I don't think this character is mentally well equipped. Like if you're a Gary. Uh, Fair. <laughs> like... <laughs> you're, you're completely valid. I mean, I would say, yeah, talk definitely talk to me before you do any of those big changes on things, because that will be yeah, a uh, for sure a big decider on stuff. Because I'll say after that respect, there's gonna be no more for, for oh for yeah a hot yeah for sure. But oh, uh, no. at least at least not until we get to the uh, the first of many digivolutions, which we'll, we'll we'll get there when we get there. I'm I'm in yeah. no mood to get you guys there yet. <laughs> I will say I was skeptical of the tag team situation for the Digimon at first, but it grew on me quickly. I like mm -hmm. the, the approach of like, all right, quickly figure out what you're going to do and work with the person who is voicing the Digimon. I think that that works out. Yeah, I, I feel like it's I feel like it really adds a lot more entertainment value for me, at least that I get my own like Digimon actions that aren't related to my Digimon. Like, yeah. I get to go role play for somebody else, basically, and, like, pick some of their actions. Uh, I, li I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was worried about how hard it was going to be to balance two characters, but once you get into it, it's really not that hard. I mean, oh, a yeah. DM oh, yeah. balances, like, nine, ten different characters sometimes. Per campaign. Sometimes, uh, yeah. Sometimes an army. <laughs> so, with all due respect, asking you guys to put a little more effort into one more shouldn't be the <laughs> biggest lean. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fun just kind of go and because we were given prompts by our by the human, we know a general idea of what the characteristic 
the character is, so we're not like it's not like we're crafting the character from scratch. Yeah, I believe my together. exact prompt to you, Red, was big gremlin energy. Yeah. Also, <laughs> Mono Dramon was the secret MVP of this goddamn secret. <laughs> no <laughs> Not a secret. That's for sure. You're welcome for bringing the tank. I'm yo. Mm -hmm. It's actually insanely lore accurate. Mono Dramon in lore is supposedly one of the most bite happy vaccine types to the point where. It's Pisses off Ogamons. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I believe the character description I gave Grit was Scrappy Doo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, I mean, he, he's giving me a lot of open range. Okay. I just, I use the very basic stuff and stuff. And I yeah, mean, and you nailed it, man. You nailed it. Thanks. I, I think I saw someone in chat was all happy about that. So that made me feel really good. I'm I was debating like, on doing like, uh, as much as I like the idea of an MVP thing, uh, I think you guys get enough adversity tokens as it is. I don't need to give you yeah. more. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, that's fine. Since MVP is just bragging rights. It, it yeah. very much so is. And uh, I look forward to seeing both how all of you as players, as well as our lovely viewers here as well, uh, start figuring out what the hell story is Nick trying to pull? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. We're, we're bringing right. unions to the digital world. As a member of NAPIT, <laughs> I, I, am, I approve of this. I, I look forward to seeing how you deal with next episode. <laughs> That'll be great. Since it was asked in chat, and it seems to have been answered there, but for everyone else, uh, if you're listening, uh, yeah, these are always, uh, at least our intention is for now, these are always going to be on the Abridged Alliance channel. We're trying to get more attention back to it, grow it, be able to do more stuff for you guys with the Abridged Alliance channel and our, our Digimon audience here. So uh, if you're not already, by the way, subscribe, throw some love there, yeah. and that uh, button, guys. <laughs> turn on the notification so you can see when the streams yeah. are going to happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Follow us on Twitter so we can uh, update you guys on when we're going to be gaming next. And on that note specifically, uh, you can follow all of these fine folks on Twitter should you so choose to. Coffin Jockey at Coffin Jockey on Twitter. Grim Jack at Grim Jack on Twitter. Nick A V A at Nick under Nick A <laughs> Nick underscore A underscore the V A the V A on Twitter. Yeah. Me at P Y R O M G on Twitter. Red Beast at Red Beast VFX on Twitter hey. and Storm Sage at Storm Sage thirteen on Twitter. Yes, I am still Storm Sage thirteen. The 13th Nailed of it. the wisest sages. We would tell the coming of a great storm. A storm <laughs> of fun. And of a course, if you're of not fun. already at the Smuck Squad on Twitter mm -hmm. to just get the, the lump sum of knowledge on when things happen. Yeah, exactly. we'll be very on top of any slight issues if they ever do come up. So, or like updates like, hey, we're going to be streaming sooner. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, hey, really Nick got Nick quit his job because he found something better. So we're streaming this Saturday instead. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> no, I. I, I won the lottery, I, guys. This I is my life. I, I would love to stream uh, this next Saturday, but I'm pretty sure some of you guys are missing. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, That's next week's twins are. Yeah, yeah. The, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here right now. Like apparently there was a convention. And, like five people want me to go there, and I'm like, I can't. I gotta be here. <laughs> I gotta be Grim, so. I, I just want you guys to know right now. I I, I chose to be here instead of. I know, but out of out of right state. And he doesn't regret it at all. It was an amazing I, stream. I won't regret it. At all. This was a really good. I would have regret missing <laughs> I, this. I would regret I, I, missing I, this. Yeah. I I understand. So when I have already rescheduled this one meeting. I like wish I could times. reschedule a whole convention. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Do it. I, I know. Don't we all, man? <laughs> uh, let's see, addressing the last few, like, things that are in the chat, at least just from what I'm seeing. Uh, technically speaking, I don't have a leveling system for this. However, I do have an incentive, at least a thing that's close enough to leveling, when we get to it. It's not going to be for a while, though, and you'll understand why when we get there. Uh, as for the, hey guys, we need a female touch, blame these guys, they are all a bunch of schmucks. <laughs> that's true. Guys, girls have cooties. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> Name one girl that likes Digimon Digital Monsters. No, they'll say Pokemon. Th okay? That's in the Schmuck Squad. 
You can't Look, say Tower. Name one. doesn't already have a scheduling conflict. Yeah. Look, so, yeah, uh, that, that's also, actual yeah. problem. Scheduling. We would need two. One for the Hotemo and one for the Digimon. We'll, we'll put it this way. Uh, no, I will If this goes I'll well, uh, Digi, Digi Destiny doesn't just have to end with a D and D adventure. It can be plenty of other seasons and things go on, and maybe there'll even be different people involved and stuff. We'll see. This yeah, this exactly. is the beginning. Yeah. Nowhere near okay with what everything will be forever. I'm okay with having yeah. guests, but you know we'll get there when Absolutely. we get there. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be great. All right. Uh, but, yep, I, otherwise, if we don't have anything else, uh. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for the 28th. We're going to be uh, live at 7 EST, 6 CST, 4 PST, right here on this channel. Yeah, follow the Twitter for updates, and it, it, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be real good. Exactly, oh, yeah. so... We'll see you guys next time! Say goodbye! Goodbye! Bye. 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 Bye.